Chapter 561 Exploding Killing Intent Translator Born to be countless runes condensed in the air, surrounding that woman. The void trembled in a rhythmic cadence. She's actually a celestial. Long Chen was now too familiar with this manifestation, because in that instant, he felt the will of the heavenly deus expel him. He sensed the world immediately become inharmonious with him. He was isolated and also suppressed by some kind of energy, making it so he couldn't absorb more spiritual ki. This was a celestial's manifestation, the cry of the heavenly deus. It was a very resounding, very arrogant name. But Long Chen was filled with hate and killing intent towards this manifestation. The instant she activated her manifestation, all the Mo family's experts' pupils shrank. Although they had known she was a celestial, the cry of the heavenly deus was rarely seen. Furthermore, even if you saw this manifestation a hundred times, you would still be incomparably shocked. This represented the will of the heavenly deus, something no one could resist. This was why celestials were termed the top heavenly geniuses of this world. Under that heavenly deus oppression, even Xi'anshan experts would have to lower their heads. Mo Nian clenched his fists tightly. If it weren't for this manifestation, he wouldn't need to be afraid of her. If he could just defeaturing her, then he would be completely free. What he said would be what counted. But before he could defeaturing this fianke of his, he would have to listen to her. Boom. The ground beneath Long Chen emitted an explosive sound. The strength behind her palm multiplied. And it was like a mountain trying to crush Long Chen. Long Chen instantly sank into an inferior position. The ground beneath him crumbling. Her power had explosively increased. While his own was being reduced. Let's stop. Don't play this kind of nonsensical game. Sighed Long Chen. Admit defaturing you aren't a celestial. And there's no way you are my match. She advised Novaloon.com let me say it again. Let's stop playing this nonsensical game. You aren't able to suppress me. Said Long Chen icily. Long Chen's expression was dark. And his eyes shone coldly. A dense killing intent was surfacing out of his heart. He was currently doing his best to suppress that killing intent. That killing intent wasn't towards this woman but towards the cry of the heavenly deos. After entering the meridian opening realm. Long Chen's primal chaos beat had become stronger and endless energy filled him. He felt as if his own blood was boiling. He knew this was the involuntary reaction of the nine-star hegemon body art towards the cry of the heavenly deos. It felt an intense desire to destroy it, which caused Long Chen to feel an urge to kill this woman. But this woman wasn't really an enemy. In fact, she was Mo Nian's fianke, so there was no way he could kill her. That was why he was giving her a warning. However, she didn't notice the situation, causing him to feel anger. As soon as he got angry, the killing intent became even stronger. Did you hear me? I said stop. Long Chen suddenly roared and killing intent surged out of him. This terrifying killing intent caused the world to shiver. His roar was like thunder, and he seemed like a devil as he stood there. That killing intent grew stronger and stronger, and the Mo family's experts that were spectating all felt their hearts turn cold. It was as if Long Chen had transformed into a bloodthirsty monster that might go berserk at any moment. That intense feeling of danger caused their hair to stand on end. You, that woman also sensed it. A terrifying energy was on the verge of erupting from Long Chen's body. However, she had no intentions of retreating. Bang. Suddenly, a gentle force appeared between their hands, and the two of them were immediately blown back dozens of meters. Gate Master, the woman turned her head to see Mo Yi had already stood up. It was he who had separated the two of them. Zongying, let this competition go as a draw. We're all one family, so there's no need to go all out. Long Chen didn't win, and you didn't lose. The matters between you and Mo Nian should be resolved between the two of you. Let me say the same thing again. Whoever is stronger has the bigger voice. Mo Yi smiled towards her. I'll listen to Gate Master's instructions. She hastily bowed. Evidently, she was extremely respectful towards Mo Yi. Once she put away her manifestation, Long Chen gradually returned to normal. Even he didn't know why his reaction towards this manifestation of the heavenly deos had become so intense after advancing to meridian opening. Back when he had faced Yun Wusheng, all he had felt was rejection. But now, he had almost been unable to suppress his own emotions. That killing intent and hate was uncontrollable. Don't be angry, Long Chen. Our Mo family's people all have this kind of temperament. We also don't treat you like an outsider now that you're here. A battle between youngsters isn't some bad thing. Here, let me give you an introduction. This is Mo Nian's fianke, Liu Zongying. Seeing that Long Chen's expression was still a bit gloomy, he thought Long Chen might still hold some ill feelings towards her. So he opened his mouth. 
Hey, you couldn't actually be angry, right? For a man to be so petty, getting angry just because he couldn't win, that would be too unmanly. But if you really are angry, I will apologize to you, said Liu Zongying magnanimously, extending a hand towards him. Long Chen smiled bitterly inside. Why did it seem like she wanted him to say he wasn't a man? He wasn't actually angry, but just now, he had almost gone berserk. If he really did go berserk and go all out, that would cause a huge disturbance. If Liu Zongying was an enemy, then fine. But the main problem was that she wasn't. Now that she had extended her hand so heroically, he couldn't help sighing emotionally. Mo Nian really was lucky to run into such a top grade person. No need for an apology. I'm not so petty. I suppose it's as the expression goes. You can't make friends without fighting. Long Chen also extended his hand. Originally, he had just been intending on having a gentle shake with her to express that any of their grievances ended here. He hadn't expected her hand to tightly clench his. He felt as if his hand was caught in an iron loop. Long Chen immediately felt an urge to laugh. This woman really was peak grade. Even at this time, she didn't give up a chance to compete. But it went without saying that Liu Zongying's strength was incredible. Let alone another woman. Even a male Xianchen expert who spent years bitterly training his physical body wouldn't necessarily be stronger than her. If it was just physical strength, Long Chen wouldn't fear anyone. No matter how Liu Zongying tried, Long Chen just smiled calmly. What kind of joke was that? His body had been tempered by heavenly tribulation. Within the same realm, the only one who could make him feel pain in this way was probably wild. If you keep holding my hand like that, Mo Nian will get jealous said Long Chen bashfully. Ah, no, no, I won't get jealous. You can keep holding it for a while. Mo Nian laughed. Of course, he wouldn't be jealous. Just from Liu Zongying's posture, he knew what was going on. His bones had already been crushed several times now. He really was not the slightest bit jealous. All right, Zongying, why have you suddenly come here? Mo Yanchen finally interjected to defuse the situation. Uncle Mo, my father wanted me to give you a letter. Here. Only now did Liu Zongying remember her proper business and hand over a letter. Mo Yanchen read that letter and smiled coldly. He then handed it to Mo Yi. Mo Yi didn't have any expression upon reading it. There are always people who like to join in on the fun. But that's not always a bad thing. Zongying, if you have nothing else to do, you should live here for a few days. With Mo Nian and Long Chen present, you'll have some playmates, said Mo Yanchen. Hearing that, Mo Nian's expression instantly changed. If he was able to defeat Charinthus' father of his, he would have long since attacked. Wasn't he trying to harm him now? I still have one more matter to take care of. Once I finish it, I'll come back to find Mo Nian. Gate Master, Uncle Mo, I'll take my leave first. Liu Zongying bowed towards Mo Yi and Mo Yanshan. Afterward, she walked over to Mo Nian. You better listen to me. Unless your strength surpasses mine, don't even think about being fickle-hearted and getting multiple wives. Liu Zongying left just like that. She was extremely direct and straightforward. Once Liu Zongying left, Mo Yi told Long Chen and Mo Nian to stay inside for a few days. They were about to attempt to attain the ancestral inheritance. They had to maintain their peak state. Then the others left, and it was only Long Chen and Mo Nian. Long Chen looked at Mo Nian, not saying anything, merely laughing mischievously. Mo Nian was a bit scared of Long Chen's laughter. He awkwardly said, Well, now you've seen my future wife, so that means I really treat you like a real brother. TCH, tell me, did you do this intentionally or not? You wanted me to be your shield, raged Long Chen. As soon as Mo Nian had left, Liu Zongying had arrived. That was definitely a trap. I swear, I had no idea she would come. Otherwise, no matter what, I definitely wouldn't con you. I really went to get the wine, but when I returned, I saw her and then, well, you know said Mo Nian. Mo Nian, are you even a man? Don't you feel it's embarrassing to be this afraid of your woman? Said Long Chen. Please, you don't even understand my struggles. Would you like to try having such a valiant woman? Our arranged marriage was set when I was just six years old. She has bullied me for twelve whole years, and I haven't had the slightest chance to reverse the scales. Cried Mo Nian helplessly. You were actually childhood friends, asked Long Chen. Childhood friends, as if. When she was ten, she awakened as a celestial. My talent was never able to compare to hers. More importantly, my Mo family's cultivation technique focuses on offense, not defense. It's not like I can really attack her mercilessly. Cough. Well, 
the main point is that even if I did, I wouldn't be able to beat her. Each time, I can only be bullied by her. So, I want to switch to a more gentle woman. But you've also seen just how difficult it is to achieve such a grand dream. Right now, my only hope is the ancestral inheritance. If I can obtain that inheritance, there will still be a chance I can reverse the tides. But if I fail, then just thinking about those dark days will make me want to kill myself, said Mo Nian bitterly. This was Long Chen's first time feeling a trace of sympathy for Mo Nian. His grievance faded a great deal. He supposed it really was difficult for a man to live this way. It's all right. Don't cry. Let's go find a place to taste your old man's fine wine. Then I'll help you refine pills in preparation for the inheritance. Long Chen and Mo Nian switched locations. They chatted as they drank. And only then did Long Chen learn that the Mo family and the Liu family were old friends. However, it seemed that since the Mo family declined, the differences between the two had only grown. As for the specifics, Mo Nian didn't know. Only the higher-ups of the family knew, and they all kept their mouths tightly sealed. After resting for a bit, Long Chen had Mo Nian keep watch as he began refining. As a result, when he refined a furnace of pills in front of him, Mo Nian became dumbfounded. Chapter 562 Ancestral Inheritance Translator Born to be within the pill furnace were 96 ring 9 revolution Dao heart pills. When Mo Nian saw that, he practically didn't believe his eyes. Long Chen refined a total of two furnaces of pills. The Mo family only had 10 spots for this inheritance, and so his 18 9 revolution Dao heart pills were enough. After the refinement, the two began to meditate, allowing themselves to reach their peak states. Three days later, someone came to inform the two of them to start going to the inheritance land. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that the Mo family's inheritance land was right below Mo Gate. They went through a winding channel underground. They went deeper and deeper. Long Chen could sense an ancient aura filling the air. There were a total of ten young disciples, while the person leading them was Mo Yunshan. It could be seen just how important this inheritance was. Long Chen was surprised that they had to travel for a full six hours before they arrived in front of a huge stone gate. This stone gate was 300 meters tall, and ancient runes were carved into it. He felt extremely stifled here. Atop the stone gate was a sparkling crystal. A white light shone from the crystal. Mo Yunchen walked to the top of the stone gate and dripped a drop of his purest essence blood onto it. His essence blood formed a strange diagram on the crystal, looking similar to a rune. The stone gate slowly opened. A heavy aura burst out, and Long Chen felt an ocean-like pressure crash down on him. It was like a mountain had suddenly appeared on top of him, and even space seemed to freeze. Other than Long Chen and Mo Nian, the others all vomited a mouthful of blood. Under that terrifying pressure, they were all injured. Long Chen hastily looked inside to see a wide hall. It was a square mile and was also 300 meters high. On the wall in front of them were 10 immense statues that were as tall as the entire hall. Boundless pressure came from them. Go in. I'll close the gate. The ancestral pressure inside will be very beneficial to your cultivation. Don't waste this chance. After sending them in, Mo Yunchen slowly closed the stone gate. When the stone gate was closed, the pressure inside the hall grew even greater. It was like they were at the bottom of a reservoir that was currently storing more and more water. This is the ancestral bloodline pressure. Don't resist it. Borrow the pressure to purify your bloodline energy said Mo Nian. These people had all been told about this before entering, and so they all sat down, allowing the pressure to wash over them. Long Chen knew this was the benevolence left behind by their ancestors. The Mo family's ancestors had left behind their own bloodline key here to help their descendants. Only today did Long Chen understand what was called having a strong foundation. The Mo family had once been an ancient family, even though they had withdrawn from the ancient family alliance, their foundation was still present let alone everything else. Just the ten statues here were enough to benefit their descendants greatly. These statues were incredibly ancient. It was unknown just how many years they had survived. Furthermore, for those ancestors to have been able to preserve their bloodline energy all the way until now, it was unknown just how strong they had to have been. Thinking of that, Long Chen suddenly felt himself to be extremely minuscule. The spirit world expert, the barbarian race skeleton in the Jiuli secret realm, and these statues in front of him made him feel like he still had a long, long path in front of him. His path stretched so far that he wasn't even able to see the destination. Compared to Mo Nian and the others, he had nothing to do right now. He wasn't a disciple of the Mo family, and so he was unable to connect to their bloodline. In fact, 
Long Chen didn't even know anything about his own bloodline. Once his spirit blood had been taken, his bloodline energy had been snatched away as well. Right now, there were no bloodline runes in his blood, so there was no way for him to activate his bloodline energy. However, he had the 9-star hegemon body art. When it was activated, he wouldn't be suppressed by any bloodline. Otherwise, under a bloodline pressure and the suppression of the heavenly deos, he really would be stifled to death. It could be said that the 9-star hegemon body art was his strongest skill. Only after more than two hours did Mo Nian slowly open his eyes. A new rune had appeared on his forehead, the same rune as the one outside the stone gate. When that rune appeared, a light rumbling began to come from Mo Nian's body, and a powerful bloodline pressure began to rise. However, Mo Nian quickly reined it in. The rune on his forehead also disappeared. Congratulations on activating your bloodline pressure. Long Chen smiled. Mo Nian smiled. In truth, it isn't activating but undoing a seal. My Mo family's disciples all have their bloodline energy sealed. This is just lifting the seal. Lifting the seal. Yes. This seal is something we placed on ourselves. There are two reasons to do this. One is that our Mo family's bloodline is no longer pure. So doing this can minimize the amount of bloodline energy that dissipates over time. That way, we can keep our bloodline going for more generations without the quality dropping. The other reason is that my Mo family is trying to be low-key. There are enemies watching us. We're just waiting for a chance to soar. Even though we've unsealed our bloodline, we'll still keep it hidden. And we won't reveal it easily. This is to mislead our opponents, said Mo Nian. Won't doing this cause the opposite of what you want? If you let your opponents consider you as prey, they'll just devour you in one gulp. Long Chen shook his head. He, did you think those jumping clowns out there are our match? They're far too lacking. Let's not talk about that right now. It seems like everyone's done. Let's go look at the statues. Just like that, Mo Nian brought everyone over to the first huge statue. Once he got closer, Long Chen realized that these weren't stone statues but wooden statues. This wood was harder than iron, and countless lines covered it. Those natural lines seemed like a marvelous formation that was sending some kind of mysterious energy into the statue. This is the inheritance statue. According to Father, we used to have many, but now we only have these ten. These wooden statues each have a heavenly Deo seed of an almighty expert from our family. They sealed their own Deo seeds for their descendants. Each one of them was once an amazing figure. They were world-shaking celestials. But after so many generations, us, their descendants, have been unable to even obtain the treasures that our ancestors left behind for us. Just thinking about it is depressing. Mo Nian couldn't help sighing regretfully. The Mo family's disciples were also ashamed. They were unable to even take the treasures that their ancestors had left for them. That was truly enough to make a person too ashamed to show their face. Junior Gate Master, you'll definitely succeed, said one of them. They were all confident in Mo Nian. You guys shouldn't slack off either. This kind of thing doesn't just rely on talent and strength, but it also requires a certain destiny. Do your best, said Mo Nian. Everyone hastily selected a statue for themselves. They were all extremely nervous, as well as excited and uneasy. Buzz. One disciple placed their hand on a statue's foot. The statue lit up, and a powerful force came from it. The disciple immediately vomited blood and flew back. After that, the statue returned to normal. The light fading. Mo Nian couldn't help sighing. Failure signified that this statue could not be activated again for the next decade. The statue would enter a sealed state that did not allow its heavenly Deo seed to be touched. That disciple crawled up, ashamed. Junior Gate Master, I, don't be discouraged. You've already done your best. Everyone, you don't need to force it. Like I said, this doesn't rely just on strength but also destiny. All you can do is try, said Mo Nian. Continuous bangs rang out one after another, as those disciples were blown back by a powerful force. Mo Nian's expression became a bit ugly. Mo Yunchen had told them that this group was the strongest one with the best talent within the last century. However, the results were merciless. Another disciple vomited blood and actually directly fainted. Because he hadn't been willing to just give up, he had gone all out, resulting in him taking heavy injuries. Now, other than Long Chen and Mo Nian, the other eight had failed. The two of them were their last hopes. But Long Chen wasn't a member of the Mo family. Mo Nian immediately felt an immense pressure himself. The heavenly Deo seed inside the statue will flood into your body like an open dam when you touch it. That terrifying impact is something the others were unable to bear. So they failed. But with your strength, you should be able to handle it, 
said Long Chen. You can feel the energy, asked Mo Nian. Many of them had been blown back by some force, but they were unable to even tell what that force was from. However, Long Chen was able to sense it slightly. Isn't that just a waste of breath? These things contain the will of the heavenly deos. How could I not sense them? These are the things I hate the most. Go on. Relax. It won't be any problem for you. At worst, you'll just spit out some saliva. Joked Long Chen. Don't joke. Those statues have my ancestors' energy within them. How could I spit on them? But no matter what, I have to try it. Mo Nian clenched his teeth. Taking a deep breath, he placed his hand on the statue's foot. What alarmed everyone was that Mo Nian immediately vomited a mouthful of blood. Chapter 563 Rather Die Than Submit Translator Born to be Junior Gate Master, Mo Gate's disciples all cried out in shock. At the same time, their hearts turned cold. If even Mo Nian failed, then there really was no hope. Don't worry, he succeeded, said Long Chen. Although Mo Nian had vomited a mouthful of blood, his hand was still pressed against the statue. Long Chen could sense a strange energy crazily pouring into his body. It was the first wave of the inheritance that was the most difficult to receive. But if you could endure it, then everything after it would be much easier. Now Mo Gate's disciples were filled with wild ecstasy. Mo Nian hadn't been blown back. That signified that he had passed the test of the statue and could receive the inheritance. You guys should protect him, but don't disturb him, because this process requires some time, said Long Chen. Yes, they hastily spread out around him, not daring to make any further noise. They were worried that even the sound of their breathing might impact Mo Nian. Seeing that Mo Nian was still completely steady, Long Chen turned to the last statue. He couldn't help feeling a bit helpless inside. After hesitating for a moment, he still decided to place his hand on the statue. Boom. A fierce energy surged into him. His clothes and hair blew back, and his body shook slightly. That made the other's jaws drop. Long Chen resisted the impact just like that? That was a bit too terrifying, right? That impact was extremely powerful. It possessed exceptionally harsh requirements for the physical body. But Mo Gate's core technique focused on offense, not defense. So their weak point was their physical body. These statues' trial was to test the Mo family's disciples' weak point. If they were able to endure that impact, then that meant they were geniuses amongst geniuses. But if they were unable to endure it, then all that could be said was that they weren't talented enough, and there was no need for them to waste their ancestors' sweat and blood. Long Chen felt a vast energy pouring into his body. It was like a bottomless ocean of energy. He couldn't help feeling apprehensive. This ancestor of the Mo family had left behind their heavenly Dao seed here. The will of heaven and earth was contained within it. Even Long Chen didn't know what would happen. But now that things had reached this point, he could only take things step by step. If he could refine this heavenly Dao seed, he would also become a celestial. Then he would no longer be expelled by the heavens. That would be extremely beneficial to him. Boom. An incense sticks time later. All the energy within the statue had poured into his body, slowly condensing inside him. The energy was continuously compressing, like an ocean trying to compress itself into a pool. As that energy compressed, countless runes began to appear. But even after those runes appeared, the energy continued to compress. In the end, it condensed into a seed formed from countless, tiny runes. The instant that seed condensed, Boundless pressure erupted, and it began to attack Long Chen's body. Long Chen's body also began to expel this seed. The Feng Fu and Ali of Stars began to automatically circulate to fight against it. Fuck, I just knew it wouldn't go smoothly. Once that seed condensed, Long Chen saw that it simply refused to acknowledge him. It almost felt like a bride who had brushed away her veil to see that her groom was ugly and immediately turned hostile. It began to wreak havoc in his body. Since you've come. Then don't think about leaving. Long Chen clenched his teeth and circulated his spiritual key in an attempt to refine the seed. He was intending on refining it the same way he had refined the Thunder Force back then. But he found that no matter how he tried, he was unable to erase its will. It was still crazily rebelling. Buzz. Just at this moment, the primal chaos bead trembled, and the seed immediately became calm. Long Chen was delighted and was just about to try and refine it when the seed began to flow towards the primal chaos space's black soil. Fuck. Don't do this. Don't devour the heavenly Dao seed. Long Chen hastily pulled it back. It would be far too wasteful for the black soil to devour the seed. But as soon as he pulled the seed out of the primal chaos space, it once more began to crazily rebel, refusing to allow him to refine it. With Long Chen's strength, 
it was impossible to refine the seed. Right now, he had only two choices. One was to allow the primal chaos space to devour it, which would fill the space with a huge amount of life energy. But that was far too wasteful. Long Chen was unwilling to do that. He hastily turned to look at Mo Nian. Runes were revolving around his body now. He had already received his seed's approval. Without even thinking about, Long Chen placed his palm on Mo Nian's back. Haha, <laughs> I, Mo Nian, have finally managed to become a Grand Celestial. PFFT, Mo Nian had only just opened his eyes, his expression one of wild delight, when a powerful energy poured into his body and he instantly vomited a mouthful of blood. Long Chen, what are you doing? The Mo family's disciples were all furious that Long Chen would actually sneak attack Mo Nian, and they were just about to attack him. Everyone, fall back, shouted Mo Nian. He then looked at Long Chen. You, don't waste time and just refine it. Long Chen was inserting the seed into Mo Nian's body. Mo Nian instantly understood Long Chen's meaning, and his eyes turned red. He was actually giving his Dao seed to him. He wanted to refuse, but Long Chen didn't give him any chance. Using the most straightforward method, he directly inserted the seed into his body. Mo Nian took a deep breath. He knew now wasn't the time to be argumentative. This seed was something his ancestor had left behind, and it had a kind of special familiarity to his blood. Even before he refined it, it began to merge into his body. Seeing that, Long Chen felt a twinge of envy. This was definitely bullying. The difference between people was too great. In his hands, that Dao seed would rather die than submit. But in Mo Nian's body, it seemed to be perfectly happy to be refined. Suddenly, space trembled and Mo Nian's aura explosively grew. Countless runes filled the air, forming a sea of runes. Furthermore, there were two illusory figures within the sea of runes. They appeared behind Mo Nian's body, emitting boundless pressure. The Mo family's disciples all dropped to the floor and knelt. They felt a bloodline suppression as well as a reverence from the depths of their souls. They looked up at Mo Nian with ecstasy. Mo Nian's ancestral mark had appeared on his forehead again. But now, that mark was no longer its original red color. A faint gold shade had appeared within it. The sea of runes and the illusory figures faded. That terrifying pressure also dissipated. Only then could they sigh with relief. Mo Nian slowly opened his eyes. In that instant, another kind of majesty appeared in them. Feeling the boundless energy within his body as well as the favoritism the heavenly deos were giving him. Mo Nian was so excited that he felt an urge to cry. Long Chen, no need for nonsense. The main point was that I couldn't refine that Dao seed, or I also wouldn't have just given it to you. Let's go and let your old man be happy for a bit. Long Chen laughed. All right. Mo Nian nodded. He didn't believe Long Chen, so he remembered this favor in his heart. The huge stone door opened. What Long Chen and the others hadn't expected was that all the higher ups of the Mo family were standing outside. These usually carefree experts were now nervously staring at them. Nianur, you actually succeeded. Mo Yi's old face was filled with emotion. He could sense the will of the heavenly deos from Mo Nian. He crazily laughed, shaking everyone's eardrums. Ha ha ha, my Mo family finally has a qualified successor. Mo Yunchen was also immensely joyful. Although they had guessed Mo Nian would have a 50% chance of succeeding, no one could be sure about something like this. So all of them had been nervously waiting here, waiting for the stone gate to open. And Mo Nian really hadn't let them down. Good job Nianur. He. Oh. Long Chen failed? How regretful. But child. You don't need to be dejected. Only now did Mo Yunchen realize there was no will of the heavenly deos on Long Chen's body. So he hastily comforted him. Dad. Long Chen gave his heavenly deo seed to me. Said a red-eyed Mo Nian. What? Mo Yi and the others were all shocked. So Long Chen had actually obtained the heavenly Dao seed but hadn't refined it for himself. Instead giving it to Mo Nian. It had to be known that Long Chen's actions were equivalent to ruining his own future prospects to benefit Mo Nian. Long Chen. How could you be so foolish? Mo Yi looked at Long Chen both emotionally as well as helplessly. He. In truth. It wasn't anything big. That heavenly Dao seed was something I couldn't refine. Rather than just wasting it. It was better for me to give it to Mo Nian. That way. Mo Nian can get stronger and get some more wives and concubines, allowing the Mo family to spread its branches. Wouldn't that be better laughed Long Chen. The Mo family experts all felt profound gratefulness towards Long Chen. To give up the chance to become a celestial for someone else was something not everyone could do. Old man, just wait. Once I refine two heavenly Dao seeds, I'll quickly be able to challenge you. He, 
Mo Nian laughed sinisterly at his grandfather, his voice filled with pride. Ha ha ha, brat, you have gods. Don't think that just because you've refined too. Wait, what? Mo Yi's expression suddenly changed. That's right, too. Because other than the seed Long Chen gave me, I also obtained one of my own. He, old man, now do you feel the pressure? Mo Nian fiercely raised his eyebrows. Quick, bring out your heavenly Dao manifestation for me to see. Mo Yi immediately grabbed Mo Nian and urged him eagerly. When everyone saw Mo Nian's cry of the heavenly Daos that had two illusory figures within it, all of the Mo family's experts knelt on the ground. The ancestor's blessing. Our Mo family can finally soar. Mo Yi couldn't help but tear up, his voice filled with emotion. Grandfather, you. This was Mo Nian's first time seeing Mo Yi like this, and he almost jumped in shock. Your grandfather is just too excited today. Our Mo family will finally soar because of you. Good child. Come. Let's have a proper celebration. The fact that Mo Nian had become a celestial caused all of Mo Gate to become ecstatic. As for Long Chen, he became the closest person to Mo Gate. They celebrated for a full three days and nights. Mo Gate's men and women, young and old, went wild with joy without any regard to seniority. It was extremely lively. But on the fourth day, Long Chen and Mo Nian received an invitation from the Muxu mercenary unit, asking them to go drink at the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. Chapter 564 Shu Wuhan arrives translator, born to be just as Long Chen and Mo Nian's eyes were shining at the thought of going to the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion, a person Long Chen hadn't expected appeared in front of him, that person was the Zhuanshan Supermonastery's monastery head, Shu Wuhan, upon seeing her, Mo Nian immediately let out a cry, wow, what a beautiful woman, Long Chen, when did you seduce such a beauty, Novaloon.com Mo Nian, you bastard, Long Chen grabbed Mo Nian's throat and raised him into the air. This bastard was definitely doing this on purpose. Last time, Shu Wuhan had already revealed herself to him in the first monastery. Even though she was in different clothes, there was no way he wouldn't recognize her. To dare attack Mo Gate's junior master inside my Mo Gate. You really are brazen Long Chen. Brat, just wait. Once I get accustomed to my power, he, Mo Nian vanished like a wisp of smoke. Shu Wuhan shook her head somewhat helplessly. The children these days really do dare do anything. It must be nice to be young. Sister, why have you come here? Asked Long Chen. He knew how busy Shu Wuhan was. Considering that she was in the midst of a power struggle with Zhao Qingai. How had she run all the way over to King Prefecture? Isn't it all because of you? Shu Wuhan glared at him. Only when your people arrived at the Super Monastery did I learn what happened to you. I immediately wanted to chase after you. But that BTCH Zhao Qingai blocked me saying she wanted to exchange pointers. Although I injured her in exchange, she ended up stalling me for quite a while. Later, I followed your tracks and caught up to an expert from the Yun family. I did a direct soul sark, and only then did I learn you managed to escape and put myself at ease. Many thanks for your concern, sister. Long Chen was moved that Shu Wuhan would care this much for him. I really didn't think your life was this hardy. That Yun Wusheng actually personally chased after you. But you still managed to escape, and you had even yet to break through to Meridian Opening. You really are amazing, praised Shu Wuhan. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Is being chased like a dog by someone so amazing? Are you trying to console me, foolish brat? With a bone forging cultivation base, you managed to escape from a Meridian Opening Celestial. That's already extremely impressive. What exactly did you want to happen? To slaughter Yun Wusheng, said Shu Wuhan. Long Chen realized that the person Shu Wuhan had caught was probably someone who was sent over later, and so they weren't aware of the results of how miserable Yun Wusheng's condition had been. Otherwise, it was unknown just how shocked Shu Wuhan would be. Sister, are my brothers safe? Asked Long Chen. They're all very well. I've already set them up in a secret room within the Super Monastery, and they're focusing on cultivating. Long Chen. Ah, I really am becoming unable to see through you. You actually managed to allow over 300 people to undergo complete tempering. Shu Wuhan looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. When the Dragonblood Legion had appeared in front of her, she had been completely shocked. 300 Meridian Opening experts who had undergone complete tempering. Just how much money had that cost? Even with the Super Monastery's strength, grooming that many complete tempering disciples would take up thousands of years of their savings. He... It was just a bit of money I got from my cooperation with the Huai insect. These brothers of mine are my life and death companions who will go through hell and high water with me. What's mine is theirs. 
doing at least this much is a must. Back in the first monastery, they were even willing to give up their lives to fight shoulder to shoulder with me. I want to raise them into this world's most terrifying army, said Long Chen. Xu Wuhan looked at Long Chen. She was deeply moved, as well as filled with praise. Long Chen was a smart person, but he was also someone who cared deeply about relationships and emotion. Those who treated him well were all remembered by him. Originally, the monastery competition should be occurring next year. Back when Sha Kishan was the first monastery sect leader, there were still people who wanted to compete with him for the monastery rankings. But now that the Dragonblood Legion has revealed themselves, all the monasteries have despaired. They directly cancelled this generation's monastery competition. Xu Wuhan smiled bitterly. Long Chen's appearance had thrown many of the super monasteries' rules into chaos. Even if the first monastery didn't have Long Chen present, just any random member from the Dragonblood Legion could sweep through all the geniuses within the 108 monasteries. The competition was completely unnecessary. Long Chen, I came here to bring you back. Being outside on your own is too dangerous. You're currently being targeted by the Yun family. Furthermore, the Mo family's situation is also unstable. Rather than staying here, it's much safer for you to return with me and stay within the super monastery. With me present, no one will be able to threaten you, said Shu Wuhan. Sister, I don't want to return yet. There are still many things for me to do. Furthermore, the Mo family's current situation is at least slightly related to me. I can't just watch at the side. Don't worry, I'm no longer a child. I have the strength to protect myself. It's alright as long as you can help me protect the Dragonblood Legion and don't let anyone place their sights on them, said Long Chen. Ah, there really is nothing that can be kept from you. Yes, that BTCH Hao King Gai did report the matter of the Dragonblood Legion to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Her goal was to bring them away for training. However, by relying on the support of my family, I managed to stop this matter. That BTCH actually wanted the Dragonblood Legion to go temper themselves on the battlefield. Her motives are extremely vicious, said Xu Wuhan hatefully. What battlefield? Long Chen was startled. Could it be that the huge existence known as the Zhuanshan Dao sect also had enemies that it often fought? You don't need to ask. Once you reach that level, you'll naturally learn about it. Talking about it now has no meaning. Since you want to stay here, I won't force you. The main reason I came was just because I was worried. But seeing you safe and sound, I'm relieved, said Xu Wuhan. Sister, don't you think the corrupt path sneak attack on the monastery was a bit fishy? How do you see it? Asked Long Chen. It really is a bit fishy. At first, I suspected it was Hao King Gai's plan, but it doesn't seem to be like that. If she did that, she wouldn't obtain that much. But if she were exposed, then that would be a huge disaster for her. Furthermore, the one to benefit the most from this matter was the Yun family, because their target is only you. However, the ancient families stand on the same side as the righteous path. They shouldn't dare to collude with the corrupt path. If they ended up exposed, the Yun family would be doomed. So this matter really is extremely odd. There are too many coincidences for it to be natural. I'll definitely investigate it further, promised Xu Wuhan. Long Chen nodded. He temporarily set this matter aside. After saying a few more words, Xu Wuhan left. She still had to pay her respects to Mo Yi, or that would be too rude. Long Chen thought about it and decided to go find Mo Nian. In the end, he couldn't find him, and so he asked for a map of King's Hao City from a Mo family disciple. Following the map, he found King's Hao City's Huaian auction house. When he arrived and saw the building in front of him, he halted in awe. The grand and luxurious style was extremely shocking. It was a cylindrical building, one with a diameter of several miles. The entrance had magical beast cores embedded into it. Those special cores continuously flashed with different colors. Dazzling passerby. Just the Huaian pavilion in the Phoenix Cry Empire had appeared incredibly lavish to Long Chen back then. But now compared to this auction house, it was absolutely nothing. Greetings, sir. Long Chen had only just walked into the entrance when two pretty maidens courteously bowed towards him. Does sir need anything? Asked one of the maidens. Long Chen smiled slightly. I want to see the person in charge of this place. I have some business to discuss with them. The two maidens were surprised. They didn't expect this youngster to immediately ask to see their boss. Those who could be placed in charge of an auction house of this scale were not ordinary figures. Not anyone could see them. Can I ask for sir's name so I can report it to my superior? I don't know if the boss is present. Asked one of them. Her words were very calculated. She had him say his name first. 
Once she reported it, if the boss didn't want to see him, she would just say the boss wasn't present. Long Chen laughed. Just tell them that Long Chen has come. If they don't know me, then say I am Shen Wenlong's friend. The two maidens didn't react to Long Chen's name, but when he reported Shen Wenlong's name, the two of their expressions finally changed. They hastily brought Long Chen into a large hall and found a place for him to sit. One of them poured tea for him while the other ran off to report his arrival. The one pouring the tea stealthily appraised Long Chen with curiosity, but she also didn't dare look at him directly. Long Chen raised his teacup and lightly sipped it. It was surprisingly an extremely expensive tea. Just one cup of it would require several gold coins. That would be a year's worth of expenses to a common family in the Phoenix Cry Empire. It seems Shen Wenlong is quite famous in your Huaian sect. Long Chen was bored, so he spoke to the maiden. For some unknown reason, that maiden lost her previous natural and refined mannerisms, her face becoming slightly red. Senior apprentice brother Shen is the idol of our Huaian sect's junior generation. He's created many miracles on his journey before reaching his current position. This year, in just a few months' time, senior apprentice brother Shen broke a dozen market sale records becoming the Huaian sect's most famous junior member. We all worship him. A trace of adoration appeared in her eyes. Long Chen couldn't help but smile. It seemed Shen Wenlong was not just a martial genius but also a business genius. He had found his life's arena to compete in. Within an arena like the Huaian sect, he could shine with his greatest light. The business Dao was also a grand Dao that was a never-ending path. However, those records he broke should be because of the bone-tempering pills formula. The appearance of the bone tempering pills had managed to increase the Huaian sect's reputation, and if Shen Wenlong didn't know how to take advantage of that, then he wouldn't be Shen Wenlong. Little sister, how old are you? asked Long Chen suddenly. The maiden blushed, lowering her head and whispering, 15. Long Chen couldn't help feeling this was comical. He was about to continue asking her a few questions when a flirtatious voice rang out. Long Chen, I never thought that you liked playing around with women like this. However, she's still too young. Why don't you let this much, much more mature big sister take her place? Chapter 565 Peak Grade Brother and Sister Translator Born to be that voice was slightly familiar. Long Chen hastily turned back to see a woman wearing robes that did nothing to hide the immense mountains and deep valley on her chest. That woman looked at Long Chen with an extremely moving flirtatious gaze, along with a smile that was not really a smile. It's you. Long Chen's jaw dropped. This woman was precisely the previous master auctioneer from the Phoenix Cry Empire's Huaian Pavilion, the enchanting Yao Nikian. After two years, her face hadn't changed in the slightest. However, her body had become even more well-rounded. Seeing her again after all this time made Long Chen feel a bit nostalgic. He recalled the auction that had occurred in the Phoenix Cry Empire. The scenes of him competing against Marquis Ying and the others appeared in his mind. Ah, so you actually remember me. I really must be fortunate. Back then, Yao Nikian had tried to pull Long Chen into the Huaian sect however, he had ignored her enticements, causing her to feel like she had lost face. Now, seeing each other after two years had passed, she truly was happy. Miss Yao is peerlessly enchanting. Other than someone who has gone senile with age, it would be impossible for anyone to forget your appearance in their lifetime, laughed Long Chen. His words caused Yao Nikian to also laugh. That laughter caused the two mountains to tremble and create immense waves. Just seeing such a thing would make a person dizzy. She was truly an enchanting seductress. Her charm and allure made him think of another person. Yu Ziaokian was also extremely charming and alluring. However, her beauty was something hidden within her bones, and completely different from how Yao Nikian displayed it for all to see. Yu Ziaokian's beauty could shake a person to their core. Even if a person knew it was dangerous, they wouldn't be able to resist her. It was like a single gaze from her could make a person be willing to kill themselves for her. Long Chen, you really are an attractive person. I hear you're currently extremely amazing. A big figure whose name can shake the seven prefectures. Laughed Yao Nikian. No matter how big I get, I can't get as big as big sister. You are this prefecture's auction house's big boss. It really is worth celebrating. When he said big, he stealthily glanced at her chest, believing what he said to be the absolute truth. He. Long Chen, looks like you've also grown up a bit, laughed Yao Nikian. His stealthy peak was unable to conceal itself from her. However, Long Chen's skin was extremely thick, and he laughed mischievously. I'm not actually the boss here. Here, let me introduce you. This is the boss, 
my big brother. Yao Nikian pointed towards a man in his late twenties standing beside her. Now Long Chen was really speechless. Was it because this big beauty had blocked his line of sight? Or was it that this brother of hers simply had no presence? Even after talking for this long, he hadn't noticed that someone else had been beside Yao Nikian. Hello, Long Chen. I've long since been looking forward to meeting you. I am Yao Naiming, said the man. Sorry, you said your name was. Long Chen thought he had misheard. Yao Naiming, the man repeated. Now that Long Chen had heard it clearly, he had an urge to prostrate himself in admiration towards this brother and sister's parents. This was truly vicious. They named the daughter Give Me Your Money, while they named the son even more directly. Give me your life. This brother and sister were practically a pair of fiendish stars that would take people's money and lives. One. Haha. <laughs> it's definitely an honor to meet you. Long Chen could only fake a laugh. Let's go. This large hall isn't suitable for talking. Yao Naiming selected a private room for the three of them to sit. Long Chen went straight to the point. I came here because I have two things I'd like to ask for your assistance with. One is that I need some medicinal ingredients I want you to gather for me. This is very urgent, and whether you have it yourselves or they're in other people's hands, as long as there's a price, help me buy them. The other matter is that I need to seize Hen Wenlong to talk about a few things. These matters are both important, so I'll entrust them to you too. He then handed a sheet towards them. For now, I'll be staying at Mogate and I won't be leaving in the short term. If you have any news, I'd ask you to immediately inform me. These two matters were extremely important to Long Chen especially those medicinal ingredients. Those were the things he needed the most, as they were the ones needed for the life fate star. After handling this matter, Long Chen said goodbye to this brother and sister from the Yao family. Seeing that it was already afternoon, Long Chen hastily returned to Mo Gate. As expected, Mo Nian had already started to grow impatient. Brat, where did you run off to? Don't you know we have something important to do? Long Chen disdainfully glared at him. Is strolling through a brothel really something important? Fuck. You absolutely can't say such a thing in the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. They'll definitely throw you out. And even I can't protect you. In fact, I'd probably be thrown out with you. Cried Mo Nian hastily. What kind of situation is that? They'd even throw you out. Long Chen was startled. That Immortal Intoxication Pavilion isn't some brothel of prostitutes. It's a place to listen to music and cultivate your mind. Furthermore. The background of the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion is very frightening. Even I don't know the specifics. In any case, my old man severely warned me not to cause any trouble at the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion, said Mo Nian. Listen to music? There are no other items on the program? Then isn't that a bit boring? Asked Long Chen. He, the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion is the place to listen to music. But the Immortal Intoxication Building isn't. There are a lot of pretty girls who will accompany you. A wretched expression appeared on Mo Nian's face. That meaning was evident. Now you've confused me. Aren't the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion and the Immortal Intoxication Building the same place? The building refers to the whole building, but the pavilion is the top floor of the building. The difference between the two of them is immense. The Immortal Intoxication Pavilion has master musicians whose musical skills are incredibly profound. It's not just music. It has reached the realm of the music Dao. Aya. Well. You wouldn't understand even if I said those things. Let's talk more about the Immortal Intoxication Building. There, you can eat and drink as much as you want, and there will be places where you can get some girls to accompany you. However, it'll cost a bit more. Furthermore, if you want a girl to accompany you, it's not as simple as paying some money. They have to have a favorable opinion of you, or they won't accompany you to discuss the day while you eat. Just talking about the Immortal Intoxication Building made Mo Nian's heart itch. How curious. Just which party is the guest? Long Chen was a bit speechless. It was the girls who decided who they went with? He, you just don't understand. This immortal intoxication building isn't somewhere just anyone can enter. The first requirement is that you have to reach at least the bone forging realm. Furthermore, you must have extraordinary talent and outstanding combat abilities. It's best if you have a specialized skill in some area. That way you'll have something to say when discussing the Dao with those beauties. If your strength is too low and you have no eloquence, even if you went, you just have to sit by yourself the entire time, because all of them will ignore you. Think about it. If you went in with a group and all of them had beauties accompanying them, but you were just foolishly sitting there by yourself, how difficult would that have to be? So, 
Anyone who enters the Immortal Intoxication Building has to have at least some status. Otherwise, they're people who are spending a great deal of money just to watch. Those people spend money just to get in on the fun. Laughed Mo Nian. Long Chen Na realized that his brothers from the Muxu mercenary unit were most likely only going to watch the fun. Just that would raise their status. After all, mercenaries were considered the lowest rung of society. In truth, they all wished to climb to a higher level. Hurry up and change into some more elegant clothes Mo Nian randomly threw out a pile of clothes for him to choose from. There were all sorts of colors and designs. They were all made of the best kind of materials. Mo Nian was different from Long Chen in that he paid particular attention to his clothes. Their builds were similar. So in the end, Long Chen chose some traditional black robes. Seriously? You're going to wear black at night? Are you thinking of committing murder? Asked Mo Nian upon seeing the color Long Chen had chosen. I like black. Maybe because it doesn't get dirty so easily. So it's more comfortable. Long Chen ignored Mo Nian's criticism and put it on. You know, you really are suited to wearing black. It looks quite tough. The outside matches the inside. Praised Mo Nian. Wearing the black robes. Long Chen possessed another kind of charisma. Perhaps it was a kind of mysterious sense of danger. That feeling was hard to describe. TCH. Are you cursing me for having a black heart? But in any case. This was Long Chen's first time wearing such fine material. It was extremely comfortable to wear. And it was also very durable. It wouldn't easily tear even if someone attacked him. After changing clothes, the two of them left Mo Gate. The higher-ups didn't even ask where they were going, simply letting them do whatever they wanted. The Immortal Intoxication Building was located on the west side of the city. Long Chen and Mo Nian saw that the sun had only just started falling to the west. By the time they walked to the Immortal Intoxication Building, the sky would have darkened and it would coincide with dinner time. Long Chen, once we get to the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion, you should match the kind of eloquence I use. You have to act more refined and elegant. Don't lose face, warned Mo Nian. Long Chen looked at Mo Nian with a somewhat suspicious expression. How come I feel like you're a bit nervous? This couldn't be your first time going, right? What nonsense. How could it be my first time? Raged Mo Nian. But seeing Long Chen's untrusting expression, his confidence faltered and he admitted. In truth, I've gone over ten times, but it's my first time entering the Immortal Intoxication Building. TCH. So those times you went you just watched from a distance, said Long Chen disdainfully. We're both brothers, so stop exposing me. It's not like you don't know about that person. I don't have the confidence, but this time is different. Now I'm a celestial. Although I didn't awaken innately, with the energy you gave me, I definitely won't be any weaker than her. So now I don't need to be afraid of her. I'll go all out, using my actions to prove that I, Mo Nian, am, rising. Mo Nian clenched his fists. Eating with female entertainers counts as rising? How amazing. Long Chen raised his thumb in praise. Are you even my brother? Why do you have to keep undermining me? This is just my first step. My next step will be to, don't think about your next step for now. It's not like you can beat your Fianke yet. Aren't you afraid she'll come to give you a beating? Asked Long Chen. Although Mo Nian had absorbed two heavenly Dao seeds, he was still in the process of merging with them. He would need some time before being able to use the strength of a celestial. What would I be afraid of? The power is within me and can't run away. Furthermore, she's not present for the next few days. If I didn't take advantage of this opportunity to live freely, he, that would be too wasteful. Haha, <laughs> we've arrived. Mo Nian suddenly stopped. At some point, the sky had already darkened, and a brightly lit building appeared in front of them. Chapter 566 Mysterious Paintings Translator Born to be this towering building soared high into the sky. It was brightly lit, like a lantern in the night. Inside, there was a man-made lake. Lotus flowers were in full bloom on the lakeside, their fragrance pouring over them. As soon as Long Chen and Mo Nian had arrived, a pretty, green-robed maiden received them. Do you two have an appointment? Ninth floor, first rank heaven table, said Long Chen. That was what had been written on the invitation card Mu Zhu had sent. Follow me. The maiden bowed slightly and began to lead Long Chen and Mo Nian. This gave Long Chen an extremely odd feeling. It seemed they didn't get much of a differential treatment here. This maiden hadn't smiled once for them. Passing by the small lake, a long corridor appeared in front of them. The ceiling of the corridor had been painted over, depicting all kinds of women. They were all playing musical instruments such as the zither or flute. Their bearings were all different, 
but they were vivid and lifelike. This one corridor was very long, stretching several miles. There were thousands of paintings on the ceiling, and each one depicted a different woman. Oh, Long Chen suddenly paused, looking at one particular painting. That painting depicted a woman standing proudly high in the clouds, her jade hands playing the zither. Her long black hair seemed to flutter, and she seemed just like a fairy. What is it? Long Chen. Mo Nian followed Long Chen's gaze, but all he saw was an ordinary painting. This woman possesses a terrifying killing intent. Long Chen was staring into the woman's eyes, slightly bewildered. Killing intent? What are you talking about? I don't see anything. Don't bother acting profound here. If you want to act, wait until we get inside. There's no one to see you're acting here. Mo Nian thought Long Chen was doing this intentionally and started to pull him away. Wait a moment. I want to look at it a bit longer. Long Chen stared deeply into that woman's eyes. He could sense an extremely profound killing intent that was exceptionally icy. On the outside, that woman didn't seem to have any expression. She seemed calm, looking like she was just playing the zither normally. But Long Chen could sense her intense killing intent. He vainly tried to see something more. But even after a long time, he was unable to sense anything else other than killing intent. It seemed as if it was just an ordinary painting. Let's go. Don't make everyone wait. Mo Nian pulled on Long Chen, forcibly pulling him away. The two of them didn't notice that when Long Chen said there was strong killing intent in the painting, the green-robed maiden leading them had shaken ever so slightly, an expression of disbelief flashing over her eyes. However, her back was facing them, so they didn't notice. Just walk up nine flights and you'll be there. When they reached the end of the corridor, the maiden waved her hand, her meaning that the two of them could walk on their own. Then she left. Long Chen and Mo Nian looked at each other. This immortal intoxication building's treatment of its guests was truly lacking. They only led them halfway to their seats before leaving? They supposed that they were truly gaining experience of the world today. The two of them reached the first floor of the main building and saw that there wasn't a single person. On the second floor, there was also no one. On the third floor, it was still incredibly quiet. Not a single person present. Long Chen laughed. This is definitely on the same level as your cloudless sky. Fool, if you don't know anything, then don't speak. These three floors don't have guests because there aren't any girls to accompany you. Furthermore, the price is not discounted at all. Who would come here to eat? The cheapest table here costs over 10,000 spirit stones. And that's just these three lowest floors. For the fourth to sixth floors, the cheapest table costs 50,000 spirit stones. As for the ninth floor, it costs at least several hundred thousand spirit stones. The first rank heaven table Muzu has ordered is the most expensive table on that floor, and it probably costs several million spirit stones, said Mo Nian. What? How is it that expensive? Then I think I'll just not go. Tell Muzu to give me the money she would save from not having me eat. My heart won't be able to bear the cost, joked Long Chen. TCH, isn't it just a few million spirit stones? It's not like I need her to pay the bill. Brother will treat you. Mo Nian patted himself on the chest. His meaning that his chest was bulging and that his purse was also bulging. Long Chen had only been joking anyway. After killing Luo's Hongsheng, the Xianchen experts, and robbing the Iron Blood mercenary unit, Long Chen was certain Mu Zhu was definitely a wealthy woman now. On the fourth floor, guests started to appear. Over half this large floor was occupied. Long Chen swept his gaze over it and noticed an extremely odd thing. He saw an empty space beside almost every one of these guests. He then suddenly realized that those should be prepared for the immortal intoxication building's ladies. Sweeping his gaze over the floor, he found a few ladies sitting in those spots, chatting with whom they sat beside. However, the thing that amazed him was that those men didn't seem at all excited. In fact, they seemed to be sitting on pins and needles, and some were even sweating. Long Chen couldn't help laughing. Just what kind of game was this? You had to pay money to torment yourself? His laughter immediately drew everyone's furious glares. The majority of the people here had no one to accompany them. They thought Long Chen's laughter was a jeer at them. So naturally they became furious. However, none of them said anything. Sorry, sorry, please continue. Long Chen hastily apologized and rushed on to the next floor. On the fifth floor, there were slightly more people. And there were also more ladies. However, compared to the number of guests, they were still very few. As for the guests with no one beside them, they were quietly enjoying the fine wine. Just looking at that made Long Chen want to laugh. If the ladies didn't want you, then even if you waited until the sky brightened again, 
Would it have any use? They had essentially paid money just to be ignored. That really was an incredibly high realm of stupidity. Continuing higher, Long Chen noticed that the people on the higher floors had higher cultivation bases. By the time they reached the eighth floor, he noticed several late meridian opening experts. Furthermore, those people were all young and had definitely not surpassed 25 years of age. There were also many more ladies here. However, the people those ladies sat next to were all rigid and solemn, let alone getting a touch. They didn't even dare to look at them. Once they arrived on the ninth floor, they immediately saw Muzu waving to them in the distance. Haha, <laughs> leader Muzu, it's been a while, called out Long Chen. However, this caused countless disdainful gazes to fall on him. But when those people saw Mo Nian by his side, they were shocked. Obviously recognizing him, Long Chen, you can't shout in here. Muzu quickly ran over and whispered, but I didn't shout? It was just an ordinary greeting. Long Chen felt a bit wronged. That's also not good enough. When you talk here, you have to do it quietly. Muzu brought them over to her table. Every member of the Muxu mercenary unit was already waiting for them. When Long Chen and Mo Nian passed by a table, one of the people there glared at Long Chen and sneered. Where did this fool who doesn't know the rules come from? Uncouth to the peak. Long Chen was completely infuriated. Today, he had repeatedly run into these garbage rules. Since when did eating a meal require so many rules? He coldly snorted towards this person's provocation. Where did such a dog-like person come from? Do people think that if a country bumpkin changes its shell, it wouldn't be a bastard? One, after waiting for so long, you see no one bothers with you. So you take your anger out on others? If I were such a person, I would have long since thrown my head into that bowl of soup and drowned myself. You, that person stood up in fury. Long Chen didn't give that person a second glance and continued forward. Mo Nian couldn't help smiling bitterly. Long Chen's temper had immediately offended the majority of people here. That was because most people didn't have anyone accompanying them. Anyone who could come here possessed an illustrious status and strength. They all had their own honor, and Long Chen's words were a slap in the face. However, Long Chen hadn't named anyone, so they couldn't say anything. Otherwise, that would be saying they were the kind of person Long Chen had cursed, and that would be even more embarrassing. Their first rank heaven table was semi-private. Several beautiful screens veiled them from the rest of the room. That made it appear even more prominent and dignified. Furthermore, this table was next to the window, and it was possible to look over King's House City's nightscape. From behind the screens, as long as you didn't shout, you wouldn't affect anyone else in the room. Long Chen, he, we finally meet again. Shang Wu looked at Long Chen with excitement. When Long Chen had blocked a Xi'anshan weapon's full strength attack, that shocking majesty had made him appear like a god, and it had completely shaken all of them. These men now thought of Long Chen as a hero, so they were incomparably excited upon seeing him arrive. It's been a while, brothers. Long Chen cupped his fists towards them. Long Chen also very much liked this group of straightforward men. However, he complained. Leader Mu Zhu, why did you have to choose this kind of place to invite me to a meal? It's so irritating. Long Chen would rather set up a few tables outside the city. Then they could eat and drink to their heart's content, letting out their emotions as much as they wanted. That would be truly satisfying. Sitting here with a bunch of idiots. He didn't even have an appetite. Long Chen, be happy. This place is King's House City's peak location. There are so many people who want to come, but they can't. Don't complain, said Mo Nian disdainfully. We didn't just come here because of you, Long Chen. Everyone just wanted to experience another aspect of the world. Right now. Our Muxu mercenary unit is rising within the entire mercenary world. We came here to make our name resound even louder. I spent 8 million spirit stones for this spot. That kind of financial power is something only we have in the mercenary world. This will be good for getting new recruits. Muzu smiled. You want to expand? Asked Long Chen. Yes. To maintain our strength, we have to get fresh blood. But don't worry, we'll only accept trustworthy people. We won't take in whoever, said Muzu. That put him much more at ease. Muzu was truly a good leader. She handled things meticulously, rarely making any mistakes. As they spoke, some people came over carrying all kinds of delicacies and began to fill the table. When Long Chen saw those delicacies, he no longer grumbled about this place. Those delicacies were truly worthy of their price. Those weren't just fine food, they were tonics and medicines. To be able to turn medicine into something that would make people drool with desire. The Immortal Intoxication Pavilion truly was filled with talent. 
by the time they finished placing all the precious medicines and rare magical beasts meat on the table, the delicious smell made Long Chen feel like his saliva was about to overflow. Just as he was preparing to take action, a burst of fragrance blew over. The Muxu mercenary unit's members all turned still. Chapter 567 Fake Playboy's Translator Born to be within a remote private room of the Immortal Intoxication Building, a sandalwood incense burner was burning, filling the room with a faint fragrance. There were two people sitting on a prayer mat. One of them was a beautiful woman who appeared to be in her thirties. The other was wearing a bamboo hat and a white veil that covered her face. However, her light figure made it obvious she was a woman. The two of them were looking at each other. Pavilion Master, why did you call me over? Asked the veiled woman. Her voice was clear and melodious, almost sounding like music. Just now, Shalu, one, reported that Long Chen has come to our immortal intoxication building said the older woman. It's not odd for him to come here. Yes, it's not odd. Such a small matter is not worth disturbing you. However, there's something more important. Shalu said that Long Chen formed a resonance with the ninth generation heavenly music divine emissary. What? The painting of the ninth divine emissary formed a resonance with him. When I heard that news, even I didn't believe it. But Shalu said she was absolutely sure. Those paintings in the corridors are of our elusive music Immortal Palace's top experts from the Immortal Era. Now, the splendor from the Immortal Era has already been destroyed. The only complete inheritance we have left is those paintings. Each of those paintings contains the Deo charm of those almighty seniors. All in hopes that our disciples will be able to use our seniors' Deo charm to comprehend their own Deos. However, those paintings in the corridors are not the original paintings. During the process of copying them, 99% of their charm is lost, but Long Chen was still able to form a resonance with the ninth divine emissary. It seems Long Chen's temperament must have something in common with her, sighed the pavilion master. That really is hard to believe. It's said that the ninth divine emissary had an odd life. She possessed an innate heaven defying divine music that was specialized towards the path of slaughter. She fought her whole life, slaughtering gods and devils. The corpses that fell to her hands piled up like mountains. Her killing intent was so strong that it could make even the sky bleed blood and all things quiver. The ninth generation divine emissary was also the only person from our elusive music immortal palace who has slaughtered supreme experts from the righteous path. It really is puzzling how Long Chen could form a resonance with her, said the veiled woman. The pavilion master nodded. This Long Chen seems to have a lofty and unyielding character, someone who cares about relationships and emotions. That doesn't make him seem like a bloodthirsty monster. So it is odd. When you and Yu Tong watched Long Chen fight, did you sense anything in particular? The maiden shook her head. He was extremely powerful, his strength comparable to Celestials. But there is a strange energy within him that isolates him from being spied on. My heavenly music arts were unable to sense his true mental state. Perhaps my cultivation level is just too lacking. Your heavenly music arts have already reached the fifth level. Even ordinary sea expansion experts are unable to conceal themselves from your senses. This Long Chen really is odd. Does Pavilion Master have any plans? Asked the maiden. This Long Chen has no relation to us. However, since he could form a resonance with a painting of a divine emissary, that would mean he should have some kind of destiny with our elusive music immortal palace. However, of our 4948 paintings, he only had a resonance with the ninth divine emissary. I don't dare act blindly. I've already had Yu Tong go probe Long Chen. I'll make a decision after, said the pavilion master. You had Yu Tong go. The maiden was speechless. It seemed that girl was very interested in Long Chen. Long Chen was now incredibly hungry. These delicacies piled before him and the fragrance they emitted possessed a fatal attraction. Just as Long Chen was finally preparing to take action, a burst of fragrance blew over and three practically transcendent, azure robe beauties appeared in front of Long Chen and the others. Mo Nian was delighted upon seeing that, but Long Chen was startled and asked, It seems we haven't ordered any ladies yet before he could finish speaking. Mo Nian covered his mouth, seeming to want to choke him to death. Long Chen, you really are a bastard. Did you really take this place to be a brothel? You don't order the women here. Mo Nian was afraid Long Chen would continue offending them, so he refused to release him. The Muxu mercenary unit's members forgot their hunger and hastily stood up. They had never expected the immortal intoxication pavilion's ladies would honor them with their presence. And furthermore, three had come at once. Are you trying to choke me? Long Chen pushed off Mo Nian. That bastard had not only covered his mouth, but also his nose. 
These three women were slender and elegant. They were all outstanding beauties, but most importantly, they possessed a kind of elegance that would make others feel ashamed of their inferiority, let alone the mercenaries. Even Mo Nian felt a bit inferior in the face of these three women. The three of them were like flawless jade. They were pure and holy. In front of them, no matter how prideful the person, anyone would feel inferior. That kind of formless quality was something no one dared to blaspheme. Can we sit here? Asked one of them, gracefully bowing. Ah yay. Yes, of course. Please. Mo Nian was bewildered not knowing what to do, even his voice stuttered, then we'll trouble you, that woman smiled slightly, that natural and simple action was extremely pleasing to look at, the three of them sat in different places, one of them sat beside Mu Zhu, causing her to feel overwhelmed, another sat beside Mo Nian, while the one who had spoken, the most beautiful of them all, sat beside Long Chen, their arrival caused the atmosphere to become a bit unnatural, all the mercenaries were now uncomfortable as they sat, twitching, not knowing what to do, no matter where they placed their arms, they felt odd, they had an urge to quickly leave, they felt like just sitting with such sacred and grand women was a blasphemy, at the same time, they also felt a profound self-inferiority, hello, I am Yu Tong, greeted the woman beside Long Chen courteously, Long Chen gulped down his saliva, his voice a bit unclear, hello, I'm Long Chen, I'm sorry, but I really am hungry, you guys can chat amongst yourselves, and please, go ahead and eat if you want, we won't make you pay, Long Chen waved his chopsticks, his meaning that they could pick from whatever food they wanted from the table, Mo Nian's face immediately darkened, Long Chen's actions were too rude, making him feel disgraced, he was afraid they would leave in fury, it had to be known that these ladies here were not female entertainers who accompanied people as they ate and drank, they only came to people they thought highly of, Long Chen's attitude made it seem like they were coming for food, Outside of the screens, countless red eyes were glaring towards them. Those eyes were filled with envy. Their table had become the focal point of the whole room. Long Chen's actions caused that woman to laugh. Her laughter was extremely beautiful, causing people to feel very comfortable. Mr. Long Chen, you really possess an interesting character. Handling things magnanimously without bothering about trifling matters makes a broad-hearted man of character. Yu Tong smiled. Flattery, flattery. If you want to choose a husband, someone like me is really the top choice. Miss Yu Tong, your vision is really amazing. Long Chen gave Yu Tong a thumbs up. Too shameless. Too shameless. He had actually twisted her words to make himself sound amazing. Mo Nian was speechless. Yu Tong hadn't expected Long Chen to be so shameless, and her face turned slightly red, a trace of anger flashing within her eyes. She had never run into someone like this. HMPH. Such a coarse person was actually able to enter the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion? What an insult to high-class people like us. Outside the screens, someone finally couldn't endure it anymore. Correct. They're just a bunch of peasants who are trying to pose as cultured people by coming here. Did they think obtaining a bit of dirty money made them amazing? Maybe they should consider their own status first. Agreed another person. Although their voices weren't loud, this hall contained only a few people, and it was extremely quiet. Their words were heard clearly. The mercenaries' expressions sank. Those people's words had touched on one of their nerves. Mercenaries always had a degenerate status. There was no place for them in the cultivation world. Being ridiculed by these people made them furious. However, they were also embarrassed. Unable to say anything back. Mo Nian's expression also sank. These people were too much. They hadn't even given him face. Insulting Long Chen was also insulting him. He was just about to say something when Long Chen opened his mouth first. His seat was on the edge of the table, and he could see through an opening in the screens to see the two people who had just spoken. What is high class? What is low class? Does spending your family's money to come to eat here make you high class? Does relying on your own strength to obtain money to spend here make you low class? Being envious of others and putting on airs ostentatiously makes you high class? Us acting open and candid, magnanimously saying what we want makes us low class? What kind of act do you think you're putting on? Even if you spray perfume all over yourself, it won't conceal the stench of scum coming from you. The ones trying to pose as cultured people here are you. You fundamentally don't understand what high class is. Let me tell you, high class is not fate. It's the act of playboys like yourselves that is fate, said Long Chen. Only now did Long Chen understand why these idiots had come here to act like refined scum. It was all to get these ladies' favor. 
the ladies here all possessed a natural high-class Teo charm. That kind of charm was very peculiar, and it made people feel inferior. They were the truly high-class ones, while this group of idiots had only come to act like playboys. Now they wanted to laugh at others for being vulgar? They definitely hadn't taken their medicine before leaving the house. The three women couldn't help being amused by Long Chen's cursing, especially his last sentence. Despite knowing they shouldn't, they couldn't stop a chuckle from escaping. They hastily covered their mouths, but it was too late. Bastard. One of the two men stood up and pointed at Long Chen. Brat, I challenge you to a death match. Chapter 568 What is the King Dao translator? Born to be Long Chen looked at that person. He had only reached the late meridian opening realm. His aura was condensed, but he was no celestial. Furthermore, he might have shouted for a death match, but there was not the slightest killing intent coming from him. He was clearly just trying to intimidate him. Most likely, he was someone who had gotten used to using his status to suppress others. Do you recognize this child? Long Chen asked Mo Nian. No, I guess that he comes from another prefecture and was drawn here because of its fame. How could I possibly know such a character? Mo Nian shook his head. Oh, Long Chen nodded and then continued eating. You, you coward. I want a death match with you. Do you dare? Raged that person upon seeing Long Chen give him the cold shoulder. Forget about it. I'm afraid of you. Okay. Long Chen answered vaguely. Too lazy to compete with such a person. With a single glance, it was obvious that this person was a pampered child in his family. He was a greenhouse flower who had never had to suffer. For Long Chen to compete against him was bullying a child. HMPH. Count yourself smart. Seeing Long Chen retreat, that person snorted and sat back down beginning to once more calmly sip his wine. However, this flashy display of his didn't draw any beauties to his side. He could only continue calmly sitting there. After that small disturbance, Mo Nian hastily apologized to the three women, but the three of them were very amiable and were unconcerned. Two of them began to quietly converse with Mo Nian and Mu Zhu. Long Chen was surprised to realize that their conversation was about martial arts. They discussed things relating to battle skills, martial arts, and related topics. Only then did Long Chen realize that he really had misjudged this place. One woman was talking with Mo Nian, while the other woman was talking with Mu Zhu. Only Yu Tong hadn't said a single word, just watching Long Chen devouring his food. How about you eat as well? said Long Chen awkwardly. It's fine, you can eat first. Once you're full, I have some questions and I'd like to ask for your guidance. Yu Tong smiled slightly. Then you'll have to wait for a while. I'm very hungry. Long Chen truly was hungry, but at the same time, he also wanted to hear what Mo Nian and Mu Zhu were saying. As for the mercenaries, they could only watch. Even though they could eat, they didn't dare to. It was like eating in front of these women was a blasphemy. Listening to Mo Nian's discussion, Long Chen was startled that although these women's cultivation bases weren't apparent, their comprehension of the martial Dao was frighteningly high. That woman asked Mo Nian several questions and Mo Nian also asked her several questions pertaining to cultivation and how to handle bottlenecks. That woman demonstrated an extremely high level of understanding, and some of her methods were so incredible that it would make a person slap the table and shout with praise. Long Chen finally understood why those men whom these women sat next to would seem like they were sitting on pins and needles. These women asked very profound questions. If you replied wrongly, they would leave you. Their conversation was very fair. They would ask one question and then they would answer one question. However, Mu Zhu only exchanged three questions with her woman when the woman stopped asking any questions. Mu Zhu was slightly ashamed. She had been unable to reply to that woman's question. It was evident that their realms were not on the same level. But Mo Nian did have some skills. He conversed for a long time with his woman. It seemed he gained great benefits from this trip. However, the two of them only talked for two incense sticks worth of time before that woman paused and looked at Long Chen. With everyone looking at him, Long Chen didn't have the nerve to keep eating. Rubbing his mouth, he expressed that he had finished eating. But before Yu Tong could ask him a question, he bashfully asked, Miss Yu Tong, is it alright if I ask you a question first? Of course. Yu Tong smiled. Do you like me? Asked Long Chen uneasily. Everyone was struck dumb. Mo Nian glared at Long Chen. Wasn't this a bit too vicious? How could he be so direct? Yu Tong was also startled. She shook her head. No. Ah, then I can teach you. 1. In truth liking a person is very simple. Long Chen's eyes lit up. PFFT. Long Chen. How can you be so shameless? 
Even Mo Nyan was unable to bear it, and he almost coughed up blood. Isn't this just a joke? Don't take it so seriously. The main thing was that the atmosphere was just too tense. Long Chen laughed. Yu Tong was somewhat speechless, shaking her head. Mr. Long Chen really is different from others. However, there's really no need for everyone to be like that. We're all cultivators, and on the cultivation path, we are all a bunch of children. There are no such things as high class and low class. Her words were received very gratefully by the mercenaries, as that was a recognition and comfort to them. In her eyes, everyone was the same. What did it mean to be high class? It meant possessing a noble character and having high personal accomplishments. Being high class didn't mean discriminating and trampling over others in order to find a meaning for your own existence. As for those people outside, they fundamentally didn't know what it meant to be high class. It was just like Long Chen said, they were just a bunch of acting playboys. Miss Yu Tong, let me offer you a cup. Your magnanimity is truly admirable. This was Long Chen's first time having a favorable opinion of these women. He sensed that Yu Tong's words weren't the slightest bit artificial, so she truly viewed everyone equally. Long Chen, they, Mo Nian was about to say that these women didn't drink wine. In respect to Mr. Long Chen's admiration, Yu Tong can only accept. Yu Tong smiled and shockingly raised her cup, touching it to Long Chen's. This action made Mo Nian dumbfounded, and it wasn't just Mo Nian. Everyone was flabbergasted. The immortal intoxication building's ladies never drank wine. But Yu Tong had made an exception for Long Chen. Furthermore, Yu Tong was not an ordinary lady. With her looks, other than the Queen Flower, no one could suppress her. She rarely appeared within the Immortal Intoxication Building. But this time, not only had she revealed herself, but she had drunk a cup of wine with someone else. That made everyone feel intensely envious of Long Chen. I'm glad Mr. Long Chen thought highly enough of Yu Tong to drink a cup. I trust that when you converse with me, you definitely won't hold anything back, said Yu Tong. Ah, I got duped. With a single cup of alcohol, Yu Tong made it so that Long Chen would have to respond sincerely, or he would become an untrustworthy, petty person. Don't worry, you can ask what you want as long as it doesn't involve my personal secrets. Long Chen patted himself on the chest. Long Chen also gave himself a way out. Some things had to be kept private. It wasn't as if he could respond if she asked what cultivation technique he trained in. This was self-protection, and it wouldn't count as breaking a promise. Don't worry, we only discuss the day -o. So you don't have to have any misjivings and can argue your point as boldly as you please. Yu Tong seemed to see straight through Long Chen's intentions. That made Long Chen much more at ease. He thought that Yu Tong would directly ask him a question. But surprisingly, she first asked Mu Zhu, junior sister Mu Zhu, what is the Dao? Mu Zhu was startled not expecting Yu Tong to ask her such a profound question immediately. For a moment, she had no idea what to reply. After thinking about it, she replied, In my opinion, this so-called Dao should be a kind of truth, or perhaps it is the highest embodiment of a kind of concept. But to the current me, it is too distant. This reply will probably cause you to laugh at me. Mu Zhu was somewhat embarrassed. She had cultivated for this long and had already reached the Xianchen realm but she had never thought of such a profound question, as she had felt that topic to be too far away from her. Miss Muzu doesn't need to be modest. We also don't know what the Dao is. That is why we need to search for our own answer within the mundane world. You don't know the answer, but we also don't know. We're all searching for the answer on the same level. There's nothing to laugh at. Yu Tong smiled. Her words were very comforting, and Muzu nodded gratefully towards her. The immortal intoxication building's ladies all possessed a high-class charm, but it wasn't the kind of fake high-class act that came from being arrogant. It was extremely comforting, and it made people feel great respect for them. Mr. Mo Nian, what is the Dao? Yu Tong asked Mo Nian the same question. In my opinion, the Dao is a concept when something is taken to the peak, when truth reaches a pinnacle. It is the law of behaviors that encompasses everything within heaven and earth, said Mo Nian. Oh? Can you explain it in more detail? Yu Tong's eyes brightened slightly. The word known as the Dao is a set of laws. According to my understanding, the Dao is a kind of truth. This truth contains two sides, which is why the Dao can be split into yin and yang. Everything within this world has two opposing sides. If there is a high, there is a low. If there is an up, there is a down. For example, let us say one side is yin and one side is yang. Then this so-called yang Dao is the hard side of cultivators. When brute strength is taken to the peak, 
It is so fierce that others are helpless. It is filled with the courage to charge forward despite all obstacles. That is the Yang Dao. Now, about the Yun Dao. The Yun Dao is 2. PFFT. Long Chen was in the midst of drinking when he suddenly spat it out below the table. It was lucky his reaction had been quick enough, or it would have spurred it all over the table. Mo Nian immediately realized what he had said and rephrased. This Yun side of the Dao is to use soft force. Like the water the wood floats on, the waves of the water can also snap the wood and devour ships. Although it is not an explosive power, its power is still limitless, possessing no beginning and no end. If you have too much Yang force, it'll be easy for you to snap. If you have too much Yun force, you'll have no sharpness. The two of them are not true strength. True strength is a combination of Yun and Yang, the two of them complementing and making up for the other's flaws. This is my comprehension of this so-called Dao. In my opinion, nothing is absolute. Whether you reach the pinnacle of Yang or the pinnacle of Yin, they are both dead paths. Only when the two combine will there be life. The three women couldn't help but clap. Yu Tong said, Mr. Mo Nian's knowledge and experience truly is amazing. It has let me see an even vaster world. I have benefited immensely. You're too kind. I was the one who benefited more. The things I've learned today are enough for me to use for a lifetime, said Mo Nian courteously. Yu Tong nodded and then solemnly asked, Mr. Mo Nian, what is the King Dao? Chapter 569 Inhumane People Translator Born to be Mr. Mo Nian, what is the King Dao? Long Chen's heart shook slightly. Yu Tong's words all contained profound meanings that made it difficult for them to reply. As for Mu Zhu, she sighed with relief. If Yu Tong had asked her this, then she really would have been unable to reply. It would have been too embarrassing. The King Dao is the way of the king, a ruler's path. To use wisdom to control strength that does not truly belong to oneself is the King Dao, said Mo Nian. Yu Tong nodded. Then what is the Hegemon Dao? The Hegemon Dao? That really is hard to explain. The way of the hegemon in itself is a noun. When used in terms of the martial path, it means to be incomparably domineering, for your haughtiness to soar into the clouds, to rather break than to bend. I don't know whether what I'm saying is correct or not. Mo Nian was lacking confidence this time, as he didn't really understand what Yu Tong meant. Mr. Mo Nian's reply is very good. In truth, you don't need to worry. Our cultivation path is different from other people's. We rely the most on comprehension. So we will ask many people these kinds of questions. We will also receive all kinds of answers. These answers are all precious to us. I will ask one final question for you. What is the humane Dao? Yu Tong smiled. Hearing her explanation, Mo Nian was much more at ease. I feel like the humane Dao refers to those scholars who spend their lives teaching and have no enemies. In truth, people's hearts tend to be treacherous. Absolute power infatuates people and they forget what it means to be humane. Trying to use the humane Dao on a group of evil people is like a rabbit trying to reform a hungry wolf. It's just nonsense. Mo Nian clearly was extremely disdainful towards this humane Dao. Right now, the world was one where only strength was respected. If you blindly believed in this humane Dao, you were just courting death. Many thanks for your pointers, Mr. Mo Nian. Your unique knowledge and experience were greatly beneficial to me. I'm extremely grateful. Yu Tong surprisingly bowed towards Mo Nian. Mo Nian also hastily bowed. Miss Yu Tong is too courteous. My little learning is nothing. Long Chen is the truly wise one. He'll definitely give you an even more marvelous answer. Seeing Mo Nian's evil smile, Long Chen had an urge to beat him. This brat really never gave up any chance to set him up. Mo Nian's reply had already been very similar to Long Chen's viewpoint. Now if Long Chen said something similar, it would be like slapping himself in the face. Mo Nian had intentionally raised him high into the air so that he would fall from the heavens. This brat was too evil. Oh? Mr. Mo Nian's opinion is already very similar to my own. Now I really want to hear Mr. Long Chen's unique viewpoint. Yu Tong looked at Long Chen with anticipation. The other two women also turned to look at him with a hopeful light in their eyes. They were all hoping for a different response than Mo Nian's now. Originally, I thought I concealed myself enough. However, your all-seeing perception has managed to notice my superiority. Then fine, I can answer junior sister Yu Tong's questions. Furthermore, I guarantee my answers will be different from anyone else's. However, I have one small, small request. If my answers truly are different from anyone else's, then junior sister Yu Tong, could you please let us experience a song from you? Smiled Long Chen. Fuck, this guy's skin really is thick. 
Mo Nian cursed inside, but excitement still rose in his heart. He had heard that if one's answers to their questions satisfied them, they would play a song for that lucky guest. Being blessed by a song from the Immortal Intoxication Building's ladies was a great honor. It seemed each time they played a song, it would shake all of King Prefecture. However, Mo Nian also was a bit vexed, because his answers might have satisfied them, but it hadn't reached the level where they would play a song for him. It seems Mr. Long Chen is very confident. That's fine. As long as your answers are different from everyone else's then I can play a song for everyone. Promised Yu Tong. She smiled. But her smile was full of confidence. Obviously, she had posed these questions to countless people. She had received tens of thousands of answers. And many of them were basically the same thing. She didn't believe that Long Chen could truly answer her in a completely different way. If even one of his answers was similar to someone else's, then it wouldn't be worth her playing a song. Countless people looked at Long Chen with ridicule, wanting to see how he would humiliate himself. Then Mr. Long Chen, what is the Dao? This so-called Dao is to take other people's things without them knowing and without telling them. That is stealing, said Long Chen. PFFT. Now it was Mo Nian's turn to spit out his wine. Long Chen had actually switched the Dao with stealing. That was absolutely shameless. 1. The three women turned expressionless. This answer was truly unique. That is not the Dao. Yu Tong shook her head. Stealing is also a Dao. So why can't it be called the Dao? Long Chen smiled. That left people speechless. They didn't know just how they were supposed to argue. Long Chen was clearly misrepresenting right and wrong. Yet it was impossible to retort. HMPH. Swine. A black heart with the learning of a bumpkin. Just a vulgar clown that would amuse the lowest of commoners. Shameless to the peak. Too inferior to even be shown in public. Countless taunts rang out. Long Chen looked at those people and smiled coldly. Go ahead. Keep acting. Yu Tong was somewhat speechless. Long Chen was too wicked. She had never run into someone with such a temperament. He was practically a scoundrel. The good impression she had of him immediately faded a great deal. Then what is the King Dao? She continued asking. Long Chen pointed to those people outside the screens. To directly smash pompous people, those people's expressions immediately changed to become fury. Long Chen was provoking them. What is the hegemon Dao? To smash those who aren't pompous together with them. What is the humane Dao? To give a warning before you smash them. Long Chen answered without even thinking about it. Mo Nian and the others were dumbfounded. How could he reply like this? Long Chen's head really was capable of the strangest thoughts. Over half the people on this floor immediately stood up, glowering at Long Chen. Long Chen, you are courting death. Mo Nian was correct. This humane Dao is just nonsense to trick children. Junior sister Yu Tong. Just look at their sinister expressions. They've finally exposed the darkness in their hearts. That refined and cultured appearance before was just an act. I was right. Right? That's why I said high class isn't faked. Just look at their eyes. They clearly want to hack me to death. Just from that, it's obvious they have no humane heart. So they're all inhumane people, said Long Chen frankly. Yu Tong was speechless. Seeing those people furiously glowering over, it was obvious they were on the verge of going berserk. That last insult of his had been truly intolerable, especially for a man. Fine, no matter what, Mr. Long Chen's answers truly were different from others. I admit Defa Achuring let me present this song, gazing at the mountain in the clouds. I hope everyone will enjoy. Yu Tong took out an ivory flute. This flute was like jade and covered with beautiful lines. Deep within the flute, lines roved around as if it had its own life. Damn, even her flute is a Xi'anchen weapon? Just what is the background of this immortal intoxication pavilion? Long Chen's heart shook. Everyone else was also shocked. Although they were mostly meridian opening experts, they all possessed an extraordinary status. They could easily tell this flute was not ordinary. Those people who had stood up immediately sat down. Being able to hear the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion's ladies play a song was too rare. It only happened once every few years. Yu Tong gently raised her flute. In that instant, she seemed to become a completely different person. She was enveloped by a Dao charm. Despite clearly being there, it was as if she had become illusory. When she blew into the flute, a sweet sound rang out and everyone saw a scene appear before them. A young maiden looking up towards a majestic mountain. Immortal key curled around that mountain as it soared into the clouds. As she played, the scene also revolved, making people feel like they had flown into the scene and were looking up at this mountain. In front of this towering mountain, they felt themselves to be a minuscule speck of dust. As the music played, 
they felt as if they were slowly flying closer to the mountain, but although they were clearly approaching the mountain, they felt as if the mountain was still as far away as ever, so far away that they would never be able to reach it. That was an incredibly mysterious feeling that shook their hearts. Suddenly, the final note played and the scene before them disappeared. However, everyone's expressions were still filled with shock. That towering mountain had not been a true mountain, but a kind of heavenly deo. Yu Tong had drawn everyone into an extremely special state that allowed them to comprehend that heavenly deo. Everyone listening seemed intoxicated. Only Long Chen had no reaction. He had no idea why these people seemed so infatuated. Although he had also seen that scene with the mountain, he hadn't felt any reverence for that towering mountain. On the contrary, he had an urge to cut down that mountain with a single slash of his saber. That was an automatic reaction from deep within him. Fairy's divine abilities have benefited us greatly. We are endlessly grateful. Quite a few people stood up and bowed to express their thanks to Yu Tong. Fuck off. Wasn't it all my work? Without me, would you have even heard a fart? But you don't thank me. Instead wanting to fight me? You inhumane idiots. Long Chen curled his lips. But in the end, he didn't say anything. Yu Tong looked at Long Chen. Mr. Long Chen's answers truly were different from everyone else's. However, it seems you have taken advantage of me. Your answers didn't truly have any substance behind them. Correct? Perhaps you owe me an apology. Substance? That is your opinion. However, I do not feel like I was speaking nonsense just now. That is my. Long Chen's. Dao. Miss Fairy. You use music to peer into the heavens. Cultivating using sound. This is incredibly profound. But do you think that other than your music Dao, other Daos are unable to reach the pinnacle? Immortal Godhood, asked Long Chen. His words lacked politeness, causing everyone's expressions to change. Mo Nian was stunned. Had Long Chen gotten angry? Chapter 570 Running into Yun Wusheng again translator. Born to be Fairy Yu Tong. With all the things that exist in this world, there are innumerable Daos. What is the correct Dao? What are the wrong Daos? What Dao cannot be followed to the peak? asked Long Chen. Comma the three women were startled. This question of his was even sharper, and they were unable to reply. You don't have an answer, but neither does any one of the people here. Even gods and devils are unable to answer this question. Within the legends of the immortal era, gods and devils fought an immense war, and immortals and ghosts fought for dominance. The bones of gods piled into mountains and the blood of immortals flowed like rivers. Why is that? The immortal Deo, the devil Deo, the ghost Deo, the god Deo, which one of them doesn't consider itself to be the true correct Deo? If their Deos were all correct Deos, then what are these other Deos we have now? Just which Deo is supreme? Where is the supreme expert with their supreme Deo? Why is it that the culture of the immortal era has disappeared now? Severing our inheritance. I'll trouble fairy Yu Tong to tell me. What is the Deo? What is the King Deo? What is the Hegemon Deo? What is the Humane Deo? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help feeling anger inside. His original intention wasn't to release his anger on her. But when Yu Tong called his Deo into question, it was a kind of humiliation. That wasn't something he really cared about. But the pride within his soul had become berserk. After merging with the Pill God memories, as Long Chen's cultivation base had grown, the will within him influenced him less and less. But today, Yu Tong's words had made that will furious. Yu Tong's face was red, and she almost felt dizzy. There was no way for her to retort to Long Chen's words because his words were entirely correct. If there really was only one correct Dao within the innumerable Daos, how could there be gods and devils, immortals and ghosts? As Long Chen said these words, his image was also reflected on the wall of a private room. The pavilion master looked at Long Chen and sighed. It's no wonder he formed a resonance with the ninth divine emissary. Even his viewpoint of the Dao is almost identical to hers. Back then, the ninth divine emissary said that the heavenly Daos were tyrannical and that she would walk her own Dao. Her words were viewed as blasphemy against the heavens, and she was attacked by countless experts. However, her Dao heart was as stable as a boulder, and she was determined to walk her own Dao. She faced the cultivation world head on, slaughtering out her own path. However, that path was too bloody, the veiled woman said. Yu Tong's Dao heart isn't stable enough. Long Chen's words caused a flaw to appear on her Dao heart. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. We go out for tempering to experience this world's countless Daos and increase our comprehension. Daos are not differentiated by strong and weak, high or low. It seems Yu Tong needs more tempering. The pavilion master looked at her with praise. Ah, Zi Yan, 
your level of comprehension is truly admirable. Within the elusive music immortal palace, when it comes to comprehension, there probably isn't anyone else who can compare to you in the junior generation. Perhaps there will come a day when you can let us back to our splendor in the immortal era. Pavilion Master is too courteous. There are countless geniuses within our elusive music immortal palace. I don't want to compete with them. I just want to have the freedom to pursue the music Dao. As for what realm I can reach, that will be up to fate. Sighed Ziyan. Oh, another person came. Ziyan suddenly saw another person appear in the scene. Just as Yu Tong was at a loss on how to reply, an icy voice rang out. Even someone who is not a celestial dares spout lies about the heavenly deos? Truly an ignorant insect. Long Chen, you really know how to boast shamelessly. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. He saw two people appear at the entrance to this floor. Obviously, they had heard his words while they had been coming up. One was a young man in extravagant robes and a jade belt. He wore a golden crown on his head, and he was outstandingly handsome. The woman beside him was slightly older, but she was a late Xi'anchen expert. How coincidental. I never expected that you, Yin Wusheng, would also come here, said Long Chen lightly. He really hadn't expected Yin Wusheng to appear here. However, this was King Prefecture, the Mo family's territory. He didn't believe Yin Wusheng dared to cause any trouble here. Hearing that this was Yin Wusheng, everyone's expressions changed. Evidently, they had heard of his name. The various large powers all had celestials. However, they didn't tell the other disciples who they were because they were afraid of giving them an impact to their confidence. If people learned of celestials too early, then many of them would lose confidence in cultivating. Celestials were the favorites of the heavens. That was practically cheating. But the people present were all rather prestigious geniuses. They naturally had the qualifications to learn about some things. It was precisely because they had heard of him that they were so shocked. They hadn't imagined that a legendary celestial would appear at the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. It had to be known that celestials were all kept hidden by what power they belonged to, and those powers wouldn't easily reveal them. It's no coincidence. I came because I heard you were here. Last time, I let you escape. This time I'll take your little life. I don't believe you'll have the luck you had last time. Yin Wusheng walked up to Long Chen, not concealing his goal at all. The people here felt quite refreshed upon hearing that. They had long since felt Long Chen was displeasing. Now that a celestial was targeting him, they almost applauded. Take my life? He, those who want to take my life only get one chance. Once that chance is over, it'll never come back again. Last time, in our one against one, you still didn't have the power to stop me from leaving. Now that I've advanced to Meridian opening as well, do you still feel like you'll have a chance? Long Chen shook his head. Now they were unable to believe their ears. Long Chen had already fought with Yun Wusheng, and apparently he had only been at bone forging back then. They were really unable to imagine how Long Chen was able to escape Yun Wusheng in that situation. Yun Wusheng was a celestial, someone unrevealed within the same realm. Fighting across realms was incredibly easy for him. These people might have dared to insult Long Chen, but they didn't dare say a word in Yun Wusheng's presence. Their insignificant abilities were useless in the face of a celestial. Last time you were just lucky. Otherwise, not even ten lives would have been enough for you, sneered Yun Wusheng. You really have lived for nothing. How are you even a celestial? Luck is also a kind of strength. If you still don't understand that, it seems you really haven't grown up at all during this time. According to your own logic, if you hadn't been lucky and she hadn't saved you, there would no longer be a Yun Wusheng in this world, said Long Chen. Crack. A person who had been sipping his wine shook, and his wine cup shattered on the ground. That sound was like the sound of a hammer smashing viciously into their hearts. They couldn't bring themselves to believe Long Chen's words. From his tone, it seemed he had been the one to defaturing Yun Wusheng. Everyone was filled with shock, and those that had ridiculed him before began to sweat. As for that person who had challenged Long Chen to a death match, he was paralyzed. If Long Chen had agreed, he would have long since gone to another world. Although Long Chen's cultivation base wasn't apparent, they all knew Yun Wusheng was a true expert. Would someone who could speak with someone like Yun Wusheng really just brag? Furthermore, if Long Chen was bragging, then Yun Wusheng wouldn't just accompany him in his bragging. For a moment, the entire hall was deathly silent. However, Long Chen and Yun Wusheng were both glaring at each other. The atmosphere was tense with hostility. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect that you had such glorious battle achievements. Why didn't you tell me? Mo Nian stood up and patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Is there anything glorious about it? 
It was just a scuffle. And in the end, I was the one who fled miserably, said Long Chen. Yu Tong looked at Long Chen. She realized Long Chen was an open and straightforward person. He said whatever he wanted to say. He didn't even bother concealing his own disgrace. That made her feel a trace of admiration for him. She had truly gotten a bit angry when Long Chen had responded to her and put her at a loss for words. But now she realized that his words were reasonable, which was why she had no retort. For her to get angry because she had lost some face meant there was a problem with her Dao heart. It seemed she still needed more tempering. HMPH, if you hadn't fled quickly last time, you'd already be dead. Yin King finally opened her mouth. Long Chen was too lazy to speak to her. He only spoke to Yun Wusheng because he had the qualifications to face him. But Yun King was no longer on the same level as him. Long Chen didn't say anything, but Mo Nian did. Hey, when you come here, you have to spend your own money to eat. Don't think that if you stand next to us, we'll give you our scraps. If you have nothing else, leave and stop holding us back from our meal. HMPH, someone from a second-rate family does not have the qualifications to speak to me. What? Yin Wusheng was suddenly filled with disbelief. You, you, what? Did you think no one else could become a celestial? Sneered Mo Nian. Ha 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 ha, how unexpected. Even a declined family was able to use their inheritance to give birth to a celestial. He, however, relying on an inheritance instead of naturally awakening still makes you trash. Even if you've become a celestial, you'll be the lowest ranking celestial. Is that worth being prideful of? Yin Wusheng suddenly laughed. Mo Nian was furious but he was held back by Long Chen. When a dog barks at you, will you bother talking reason with the dog? Have you already forgotten what you said about the King Dao and Hegemon Dao? For such people, use your fists, not your mouth. Come, let's keep drinking. Yin Wusheng and Yun King's expressions became exceedingly ugly, but this place was the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion, and they didn't dare attack here. Furthermore, they had their own reasons for coming to King Prefecture this time. They could only temporarily endure. Everyone is a guest of the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. Why must you get angry here? How about I play everyone a song to enjoy instead? Chapter 571 Devil Star Translator Born to be this voice rang out in everyone's ears, sounding both like a bird and the tinkling of bells. Just hearing that voice could make a person feel like they were floating in the clouds. Everyone hastily turned to see that at some unknown point, a large stage had appeared at the front of the hall. There was a zither rest on the stage, and on it was a simple and unadorned zither. A woman in a white veil and white robes was sitting beside the zither. She appeared like a lotus blooming out of the water, untouched by the dust of the mortal world. That voice had come from her. You're all very fortunate. Elder Sister Zi Yan is our immortal intoxication building's top expert in the music Dao. Even we don't normally get a chance to listen to her play, said Yu Tong. When Zi Yan appeared, Yin Wusheng's pupils shrunk. He sensed a strange aura from her body. He and Yun King found a place to sit, temporarily putting aside their grudge with Long Chen. The sun and moon are not whole. Heaven and earth are imperfect. What is the point of struggling back and forth? I will be so bold as to play a song for everyone. I hope everyone can properly reflect on it. Zi Yan slowly extended her hands, brushing gently upon the zither. Twang. Long Chen felt his own heart jump slightly along with that zither sound. Three more notes rang out. Long Chen suddenly felt as if he was being drawn into that beautiful music. What a terrifying control. A single note from her zither can probe a person's pulse. And from that, she adjusts the rhythm to draw you in. This woman is much more profound than Yu Tong. As Zi Yan played her zither, even Long Chen, who didn't know the slightest thing about music, felt incomparably comfortable. This was a kind of musical meditation that delighted the heart. As the music played, Long Chen saw a scene before him. Mountains spreading into the distance. Crystal clear water flowing to and fro. Birds singing in trees. That beautiful scene was something a person couldn't have the heart to destroy. In this scene, Long Chen felt a rare pleasure and peace within him. At that moment, he forgot all his vexation. All his fury. He immersed himself in this world. Peace. Warmth. Not the slightest struggle. Everything was tranquil and harmonious. Comforting and natural. It was a wonderland without the struggles of the mundane world. Long Chen immersed himself within a green field, enjoying the feeling. Suddenly, the birds flew away in a panic. Countless fierce magical beasts appeared and charged in Long Chen's direction. Looking at those magical beasts, Long Chen didn't feel the slightest panic. He allowed them to run past his side. He knew this was all an illusion. Just an artistic realm this white-robed woman was showing him. 
Once those magical beasts rushed past his side, the scene changed again. Those magical beasts appeared in a human city, crazily attacking people. The city's army was defending as best as they could, but these magical beasts were too fierce. Blood and flesh flew through the air. Countless miserable screams and wails came from the city. Long Chen stood on the city wall, watching this bloody scene. For some unknown reason, this scene gradually began to transform into Phoenix Cry's capital. Long Chen even saw Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, and Xiao Hao's figures. They were brandishing their weapons. Even in the face of these magical beasts they had no chance of defeating. They still fought. Even knowing this is all fake, I still can't bring myself to just watch you all die in front of me. Long Chen took out a saber. With a single slash, those magical beasts were all killed and disappeared. Chen Er, you've returned. Thank goodness. Otherwise, the capital wouldn't have been able to hold on. Long Xiang Xiao looked at Long Chen with gratification. Seeing these figures before him, Long Chen felt a burst of warmth within him. After being parted for so long, he didn't know how his father and mother were now. Chen Er, where are you? Are you still alive? Mom and Dad miss you. Suddenly, a voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. That's enough. Stop before you go too far. Long Chen coldly shouted and smashed a fist forward. The space around him broke, and the entire scene disappeared. Twang. A strange sound rang out, and the zither music came to a sudden halt. Only now did everyone wake up. Some people were completely shocked, not knowing what had happened. They felt as if they had been dreaming. But in that dream, they had seen many things. Things that were related to them. They hastily looked over to Zi Yan. They saw her motionless. Her hand holding a zither string that had snapped. My skills are still not refined enough. I've caused everyone to laugh. She apologized. Many thanks for this great favor. It felt like I had lived through my life again. And I've benefited greatly. I am truly endlessly grateful. Quite a few people stood up to thank her. Long Chen didn't know what they had seen. But it seemed they had comprehended many things. Everyone is too courteous. Right now, I feel a bit unwell. So I'll take my leave first. After saying that, she turned and disappeared behind the zither stage. When that woman returned to the private room, before the pavilion master could say a word, she coughed up a mouthful of blood. Zi Yan, cried the pavilion master. Zi Yan's veil fell from her face, revealing her incredibly beautiful complexion. She had picturesque eyebrows, a jasper nose, cherry lips, and a face that was like fine jade. However, her face was now slightly pale. Pavilion master, I'm fine. I just suffered a slight backlash, explained Zi Yan. A backlash. Yes, when I played the heart reincarnation song, everyone entered that reincarnation realm. Only Long Chen stayed at the edge the entire time, unwilling to enter. I focused my spiritual music energy on him, but I didn't expect his heart to be so firm. When I tried to draw him into the reincarnation, it seemed to have touched upon something that deeply aggrieved him. He actually forcibly escaped from my realm, and being caught off guard, my mind received a heavy shock. The backlash also snapped one of my strings. Zi Yan was still shocked. Did you see his secrets? Asked the pavilion master. No. I didn't deliberately try to pry. I just wanted to draw him into the reincarnation. Letting him relive his life. But he had only just begun to enter that realm when he forcibly escaped. It seems his heart is hiding many things that he doesn't want others to know about. Said Zi Yan. Although she hadn't deliberately pried. She could still sense that at that time. She had touched something that pained Long Chen greatly. When playing that song, she had connected her mind to Long Chen's. The change in Long Chen's emotions was something she had clearly experienced. This Long Chen is a dangerous person. Zi Yan, you should stay away from him as much as possible to avoid having your Dao heart influenced. Sighed the pavilion master. Pavilion master, do you still remember what my master said when she told my fortune? She said I would run into a devil star in my lifetime and that would change my entire fate. One thought might turn me into a god, and another thought might turn me into a devil. It is all predestined. Zi Yan looked at the image on the wall. Then you mean, I'm not sure. But when I touched Long Chen's inner heart just now, my mental realm also became chaotic, and I was unable to maintain a peaceful heart. I bitterly focus my cultivation on my mental realm, and even my master said that my mental realm is something rarely seen. However, with just one brief interaction with Long Chen, my mental realm was broken. It really is hard to believe, said Zi Yan. Could you have made a mistake? How could Long Chen be your devil star? Don't deceive yourself, said the pavilion master. Master's cultivation base has reached heaven merging. 
Her music deo can peer into the heavenly deos, and with her all-encompassing perception, she rarely makes a mistake. However, whether or not my devil star is Long Chen is unknown for now. I need to wait and see, said Zi Yan. How about I go kill Long Chen? Then it won't influence you. The pavilion master clenched her teeth. You can't. You know that if Long Chen really is my devil star, killing him will invoke karma. You'll be consigned to eternal damnation. Zi Yan shook her head. Zi Yan, you are a peerless genius. I couldn't bear to see him ruin you. This little sacrifice is worth it, said the pavilion master determinedly. Thank you for the thought, but this matter has to be handled by me. When master said one thought could turn me into a god, and one thought could turn me into a devil, she meant that the choice was in my own hands. If I kill my devil star, I will become a god. If I can't kill my devil star, I will end up sinking with my devil star onto the devil path. In any case, the initiative is in my hands. Right now, it's still unknown whether Long Chen is my devil star. I can't act rashly. After I can confirm it, I will personally kill him and continue cultivating my music deo. Then my future will be an unobstructed path. The pavilion master looked from Zi Yan to Long Chen's image reflected on the wall. A trace of unease appeared in her eyes, but she could only watch. This was Zi Yan's own fate. Once Zi Yan left, Long Chen felt a strange emotion arise in his heart. It was very odd, and he was unable to tell what that emotion was. It's getting late. Many thanks Miss Yu Tong for your warm hospitality. We'll say our goodbyes now. Long Chen felt that it was about time, and he had already stood up to leave. That stunned Yu Tong and the others. It seemed this was the first time anyone took the initiative to say goodbye to them. For others, saying even an extra sentence to them was precious. It was only Long Chen who didn't feel reluctant to leave this place. However, Yu Tong didn't display that. She magnanimously said, You're welcome to visit again. He, I don't really know how to talk that well. Today, my words were a bit contrary. I hope Miss Yu Tong will forgive me. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Long Chen cupped his fists to Yu Tong. After all, releasing his fury on her had been a bit too much. After saying goodbye, Long Chen began walking towards the exit. When he walked past Yun Wusheng's table, Yun Wusheng suddenly said, Long Chen, properly enjoy your final moments. Long Chen didn't even glance at him, nor did he slow down. He lightly threw out, If you want to die, you can come find me at any time. I will quickly, conveniently, and painlessly send you to another world. Yun Wusheng immediately felt like he had been slapped in the face. Killing intent erupted from him, but he still endured. It's Yun Wusheng, right? Mo Nian suddenly paused by Yun Wusheng's side. What is it? Ah, nothing. I just want to say, if you want to die, you can go find him at any time. He will quickly, conveniently, and painlessly send you to another world. I was just afraid you didn't hear, so I helped repeat it for you. There's no need to thank me. Mo Nian followed Long Chen away. Mu Zhu and the others hastily kept up, leaving behind a black-faced Yun Wusheng. He, Long Chen. I feel like you really have talent when it comes to pissing people off. Once they were out of the immortal intoxication building, Mo Nian patted Long Chen's shoulders and gave him a thumbs up. Long Chen was about to say that he was overpraising him when a familiar figure suddenly appeared in the distance. A powerful force abruptly pushed him, and Long Chen involuntarily flew towards that person. Chapter 572 Different Deos Translator Born to be Mo Nian, it seems you no longer want to keep living. That figure was Mo Nian's fianke, Liu Zongying. At this moment, Mo Nian had used his masterstroke, pushing Long Chen forward and then fleeing. Hey, sister-in-law, don't hit me. I'm not Mo Nian. Long Chen hastily cried out. At the same time, he gave Mo Nian a vicious cursing inside. Just now, hadn't he called him a brother? In the blink of an eye, he had sold him out. In midair, Long Chen didn't have any great abilities he could use. Furthermore, that bastard Mo Nian had truly been evil. Long Chen's posture seemed like he was trying to block Liu Zongying. The two of you can both rot in hell. Liu Zongying's palm slammed into Long Chen's chest, causing his blood and key to flip inside him. But after pushing him aside, she saw Mo Nian had already disappeared past the end of the street. Liu Zongying let out a furious snort and shot after him. Sister-in-law, there's no need to be this angry. Mo Nian only ordered two women, and all they did was hold hands. Long Chen kindly exonerated Mo Nian. Mo Nian, today, if I don't skin you completely, I won't be Liu Zongying. Her furious cry rang out from the distance. Good brother Mo Nian, I can only help you this much. Long Chen simply looked in that direction. 
Mu Zhu and the others looked from the distance to Long Chen, their expressions odd. They didn't know what they should say. Leader Mu Zhu, you guys should get going. I'll return to Mo Gate. You can come to find me if you need anything. After saying goodbye, Long Chen walked on his own towards Mo Gate. Right now, he didn't know where Mo Nian had gone off to enjoy his love. However, Long Chen didn't have very high hopes for him. Mo Nian had said that his grandfather had told him that his future growth would be unlimited. The manifestation Mo Nian summoned had those two illusory figures within him. That was not something an ordinary manifestation should have. But while Mo Nian was filled with confidence towards his future, that was just his future. Currently, he still hadn't gotten used to his new power, and he was not a match for Liu Zongying yet. Thinking of Liu Zongying's swift and decisive temperament, if she caught him, then he, the massage she would give him would definitely be very relaxing. Oh? Long Chen suddenly sensed something odd. A cold smile appeared on his face, and he continued on his original path. Currently, it was late at night. He was now in a desolate area. According to Mo Nian, this place was a slum. Over ten years ago, a minor epidemic had erupted here, and many people had died. That was why no one had lived here in the past few years. If they hadn't been rushing, Mo Nian wouldn't have brought Long Chen through this desolate area. Long Chen was unfamiliar with this city, and so he could only go back according to their original path. Suddenly, a cold light shot straight towards Long Chen. Long Chen tilted to the side, and that cold light shot right past him, but he hadn't expected the cold light to suddenly explode. A burst of light blinded him. Attack. Over ten black-robed figures rushed out from every direction. All their weapons attacked Long Chen at the same time. They were incredibly fast and crafty, taking advantage of when Long Chen was blinded to try to kill him immediately. What? Those people's weapons collided together. All their weapons ended up hitting nothing but air. They had actually pierced an afterimage, and they immediately had a bad feeling. A ray of scarlet saw air key slashed towards three of them. They didn't even have time to react before they were cut in two. Only now did everyone else react, viciously attacking Long Chen. Long Chen blocked their attacks with another slash of his saber and fell back, icily looking at these people. You should be Yun Wusheng's chis pieces, correct? He sent you to test me. These people were all masked. They were also all Xi'anchen experts. Furthermore, they didn't seem like ordinary Xi'anchen experts. Long Chen sensed a familiar aura from them. Kill him, the person in charge shouted, and all of them once more charged at him. This time, they completely released the power of their cultivation bases, and a terrifying pressure shook the void. Long Chen's saber slashed out again. The void seemed to cry from his power. Their weapons were all forced back by a single swing of his saber. This senseless probing can end here. Suddenly, a ball of flames appeared in Long Chen's left hand. It was only the size of a fist, but as soon as it appeared, a terrifying heat caused all the space within a mile to twist and warp. Not good. Run. Sorry, it's too late. Boom. The flame sphere exploded amongst them, instantly enveloping everything within several miles. This was the flame energy from Long Chen's earth flame. Under Long Chen's continuous nourishing, the earth flame had continuously grown stronger. This attack now was practically apocalyptical. Those people didn't even have a chance to scream before being burned to ashes. Several miles outside the battlefield, a man was holding a photographic jade and recording everything. Seeing those terrifying flames, cold sweat covered him. He blessed his luck that he had been ordered here, or he would also have died. When the flames finally scattered, an area of 3,000 meters had been completely burnt to nothing. Even the ground had disappeared, leaving a huge crater. Something's wrong. That person suddenly let out a startled cry, as he realized that not only had those people disappeared, but even Long Chen was nowhere to be seen. What's wrong? I don't see anything. Long Chen appeared behind him looking at the battlefield. Long. Long Chen. That person immediately turned pale as paper, and he suddenly took out a dagger that emitted a blue light as he stabbed it towards Long Chen's chest. That blue light was actually a kind of antiris poison. Choosing to use this weapon at this close distance was definitely his best option. The fact that he could instantly make the most correct judgment at this time meant this person was a true expert. But as his dagger was about to reach Long Chen's heart, it stopped. A large hand was clenching his throat and a domineering spiritual key had sealed his body, making it so he didn't even have the ability to move a finger. I really can't understand why Yun Wusheng would send you people to your deaths like this. Even if he wanted to test me out, he should have sent stronger people. Or is it that he is looking down on me, thinking I'm the same person he managed to chase down? 
Did he really think a few random people could probe my strength? Long Chen icily looked at him. He really was unable to understand why someone would do something so foolish as to vainly send their own people to their deaths. Or was it that these people were disobedient and he didn't like them? Did he want to use Long Chen to get rid of them? Long Chen, spare me. I had no choice. I was ordered. I have a family. Children. Crack. Long Chen slightly increased his strength and directly snapped his neck. At the same time, he forcibly dispersed his soul. His corpse fell from his hand. His eyes were popping out and open in death. Have you seen enough? Asked Long Chen, clasping his hands behind his back. After he said that, a figure slowly walked out from the darkness. She was slender and lithe, a white veil covering her face. Why did you have to do this? He already begged for mercy, and his courage was already broken by you. He wouldn't be your enemy ever again. Why couldn't you give him a path to live? This woman was Zi Yan. Is that your humane Dao? Long Chen didn't reply, instead asking her a question. Every person has a humane heart. However, it is deliberately hidden by themselves. Why don't you try releasing your humane heart? Only then can you release other people's humane hearts, creating a cycle of virtue. If that happened, this world would no longer be the way it is, said Zi Yan somewhat regretfully. Ha ha ha. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed, his laughter extremely crazy. Junior sister Zi Yan, have you heard of a certain story? There was once a crown prince who stood at the top of the city walls. He looked down on those countless starving refugees whose crops had failed. They were crazily digging out grass and pulling off tree bark to allay their own hunger. At the same time, many of them died from starvation. That crown prince asked the chancellor beside him, Why don't those people eat some meat if they're so hungry? Zi Yan shook her head. I'm not judging your actions while trying to stand high above you morally. I just Long Chen sneered. You aren't judging, but you are tactfully criticizing. As expected, you really are a high-class person. These methods really are different from what a low-class person like myself can think of. The heights we stand on are different. Your parents, your family, they're safe. But I'm different. If I am weak, if I am compassionate, I will bring pain to those close to me. You say he's innocent? Then when he tried to kill me, did he once think about my father, my mother, my family? According to you, his courage was broken by me so he temporarily wouldn't be enemies with me anymore. But can you guarantee that if his master ordered him to kill my family, he definitely wouldn't go? Why don't you say something? Is it because you can't guarantee that? Let alone you. Even a god is unable to change a person's nature. Since there's no guarantee, why can't I kill him? He had a murderous heart towards me. So why must I take the risk to have a humane heart for him? Why would I bring pain to the people by my side? Why would I bring pain to myself? Isn't that just too stupid? Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen, you're too extreme, said Zi Yan. Whether or not I'm extreme is my own affair. Miss Zi Yan, I won't bother you about how you tried to peer into my secrets previously. This matter ends here. You and I are people in different worlds. I don't care if you have good intentions towards me. I'd ask you not to meddle in my matters, or we'll become enemies. Long Chen left this final sentence before turning and leaving. The only one left was Zi Yan, standing in the darkness of the night. Chapter 573 Fellow Brothers in Hardship Translator Born to be Long Chen's expression was dark, and he felt an indescribable fury. He found it wasn't just the heavens that were targeting him, but even people were too. Whether it was Yu Tong or Zi Yan, although they hadn't intentionally targeted him, their attitude toward him had been extremely irritating. They were people isolated above the struggles of the mundane world. Of course, it was easy for them to preach peace. But wasn't that just stupidity for him? Back in the capital, how much had the Long family sacrificed for the nation? Long Shiang Xiao had fought on the bloody battlefield to protect the border for so many years. How much had he given to Phoenix Cry? What had he obtained in return? Even if it was those in power that had been targeting the Long family. What about the commoners? What about the others in the city? When Long Chen had been bullied, they had just watched from the side. In fact, they had even added in their own insults. Were they unaware that if Long Shiang Xiao hadn't been standing in front of them, fighting a bloody battle to protect them, they wouldn't even have the right to live peaceful lives? No, they were aware. However, people enjoyed the benefits, but they didn't know how to be grateful. Long Chen had long since seen through the essence of human nature. Now that someone wanted to use their textbook moral standards to comment on his actions, he had a stomach full of fire. Long Chen had an urge to immediately find Yun Wusheng and have a battle with him, as he felt incredibly stifled inside. 
Although he didn't know what origins the immortal intoxication pavilion's ladies had, he knew they were cultivators who came from a mysterious background. That natural and peaceful Deo charm that came from their bodies made each one of them a fairy untouched by the turmoil of the mundane world. But although these fairies had descended upon the world, what did they have to do with Long Chen? Had they come to try and enlighten him? To reform him? Was that a joke? Had he somehow become a heinous villain? Just how many idiots were there in this world who also targeted him? Within the immortal intoxication pavilion, those people had all been a bunch of posers. In truth, it was unknown just how filthy-minded they were. But instead of trying to reform them, they came to target Long Chen. If it was someone else targeting him, Long Chen wouldn't be this furious. But for Zi Yan, someone who stood aloof from worldly affairs, to actually try and enlighten him, Long Chen was especially irritated. Bored people should mind their own business. Long Chen suppressed his fury and quickened his footsteps. He swore to never return to that place. Seeing Long Chen's figure disappear, Zi Yan sighed and returned to the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. As soon as she returned, the pavilion master asked, Did you talk to him? I suppose. Zi Yan gently pulled off her veil, revealing her beautiful face. However, her expression was slightly disappointed. What happened? We just said a few words and then Long Chen left. Furthermore, his expression was frighteningly gloomy. He forcibly held himself back from cursing me. Zi Yan bitterly smiled. Long Chen might look like a decent person, but how can he be so coarse? The pavilion master shook her head. It's not that he's coarse, but that he's extremely angry. It seems he is extremely disgusted with me, sighed Zi Yan. Haha, <laughs> that's because he hasn't seen the real you. Otherwise, he definitely wouldn't be like this. The pavilion master laughed extremely confidently. This Long Chen is extremely strange. He seems like a well whose surface is extremely ordinary. However, no one is able to see through that surface to see how much depth he has. It's a mystery just how many things he's concealing. You can't say he's a good person, because when he kills, his soul doesn't quiver in the slightest. He doesn't have the slightest bit of pity or sympathy. But you can't say he's an evil person, because he treats the people by his side so openly and kindly. He doesn't even have the slightest guard against them. Zi Yan looked out of a window, staring into the darkness. Zi Yan, whether or not Long Chen is your devil star, he currently has no relation with you. If you don't want to kill him, then don't provoke him. Your good intentions will just bring yourself harm and affect your Dao heart, warned the pavilion master. Yes, I understand. In any case, my tempering experience this time will end soon. I feel like my Dao heart has almost reached perfection. And so I've accomplished the mission master gave me and can return to the immortal palace. This Long Chen shouldn't be my devil star. Pavilion master, don't worry, I was just a bit interested in him. I know to act properly, said Zi Yan. Then that's good. You are the head of our elusive music immortal palaces for great immortal sprouts. The palace master has great hopes for you. Don't disappoint her, warned the pavilion master. Yes, I'll leave now to rest. After saying goodbye to the pavilion master. Zi Yan returned to her own room. However, after a while, a green-robed maiden walked in. Big sister Zi Yan, you called me. Yes, Shalu, help me investigate that Long Chen. The more detailed the information, the better, said Zi Yan. All right, and don't let the pavilion master learn about this, said Zi Yan. Yes, once that maiden left, Zi Yan looked out the window. That was the direction Long Chen had left in, to cause my Dao heart to shake like this. You are definitely my life's foreordained devil star. Either I change you, or I kill you. Long Chen, I'm sorry. A complicated expression flashed through Zi Yan's eyes, and she sighed. It was unknown whether or not the heavens were intentionally opposing Long Chen. But in any case, for the rest of his way back, he didn't run into any other obstructions. When he returned to Mo Nian's courtyard, he saw Mo Nian was already back. However, now... Mo Nian's face was badly swollen and his hair was a mess. Seeing Long Chen so gloomy as he walked in, Mo Nian asked, What? Were you also beaten by someone? Don't even mention it. It's too infuriating. Long Chen shook his head. What? Something this good actually happened. Quick. Tell me. Let your brother be happy for a bit. Mo Nian's eyes brightened. The door's over there. Scram. Long Chen pointed. Ah. Don't be like this. We are fellow brothers in hardship. We should face our troubles together. Come, tell me your story, pressed Mo Nian. Long Chen told him about being attacked by experts from the Yun family and his conversation with Zi Yan. Mo Nian couldn't help shaking his head. 
Is Yun Wusheng an idiot? Why would he send those people to test you? My guess is that they're abandoned members. With such a large family, there are sure to be many fights. This kind of situation isn't that rare. Those people were probably his competitors' underlings. He used me to get rid of them, said Long Chen. But then what about Zi Yan? Why would she target you him? Could it be that she didn't take the right medicine today and ended up taking a fancy to you? Mo Nian exclaimed suddenly. The door is over there. Haha, <laughs> it's just a joke. My grandfather said that the immortal intoxication building isn't somewhere that just any sect's disciples could go to for tempering. To study the world's various aspects there. Learning about the lives of thousands of people. To comprehend the innumerable deos over heaven and earth. It seems whatever sect she's from is quite a terrifying existence. In any case. My grandfather said that Mogate can't provoke them. Unless something happens. I'm not to do anything to them. If that Zi Yan really wants to target you. It'll be troublesome. Said Mo Nian. TCH. There are too many bored people in this world. I'm too lazy to bother with them. Said Long Chen. Hey. Long Chen. Aren't you known as having unrevealed pickup techniques? Why don't you use some of your abilities to win her over? Although we didn't get to see her face. Just from her temperament. It's clear she's a peerless beauty. Once you seduce her. Not only will you have a beauty. But whatever sect she's from will also be on your side. What a great deal. Mo Nian's eyes brightened. When did I ever say I have unrevealed pickup techniques? Who did you hear that from? Long Chen was somewhat speechless. Do you even need to ask? Just look at all those beauties by your side. They're all so devoted to you. And you know how jealous women are. But you were actually able to get them to get along with each other. If this isn't because of your amazing pickup skills. What's it from? Wait. No. This can't be called skill. This is practically a heaven-defying divine ability. Ah. Why couldn't I have this talent? I can't even get a single peaceful woman. Fuck. How depressing. Mo Nian felt incredibly aggrieved. How did your fight with her go? Asked Long Chen. He was very curious about how Mo Nian had been beaten so miserably. How could it have gone? She chased me for half an incense stick's time and then attacked. As a result, I lost by one move. However, this time, I lasted a whole hour against her without being beaten. He, said Mo Nian. Not bad. Even though you haven't adapted to your celestial power, you were still able to hold on this long. Once you get accustomed to it, you'll be able to completely suppress her, praised Long Chen. Previously, Mo Nian had told him that when he faced Liu Zongying, he was usually beaten in just a few seconds. The fact that he could hold on this long was very impressive. Well, not exactly. The main point was that she was busy tying me to a tree before beating me, sighed Mo Nian. The door is over there. TCH. Why can't you let me make myself sound a bit better? Look at how miserable I look. But let me tell you, my strength really has greatly increased. I intentionally let her win this time. Although I still wouldn't have been able to defeat her, I would definitely have had some ability to resist this time. However, I didn't let her sense that. I'll wait until I'm used to my new strength to make a beautiful reversal, declaring that the king has returned. I, Mo Nian, will forcibly soar to overlook the nine heavens. Mo Nian stood up, looking like a very majestic rooster, filled with confidence towards his future. Of course, if it weren't for his swollen face, the effect would be a bit better. All right, you've said what you wanted to say. Stop standing on the table. Being higher won't actually let you soar anywhere, said Long Chen helplessly. Mo Nian jumped off the table and said, Brother, this time, it really is all thanks to you. My grandpa personally examined my new Deo seeds. He said that normally, people can only merge with a single Deo seed. However, I was able to break this rule and merge with two. Furthermore, these two Deo seeds show no signs of rejection. Instead, they seem to want to merge, forming a mutation. According to my grandpa's guess, my manifestation may be an extremely rare advancing celestial manifestation. He said that in the future, I might not always be a rank 1 celestial. I'll be able to advance ranks. Mo Nian's voice quivered slightly. His grandfather had actually told him to keep that as a secret. It was too important. But not saying it had been too stifling. He ended up telling it all to Long Chen. Long Chen was startled by this news. Shu Wuhan had told him that celestials were split into nine ranks. But she hadn't said anything about them being able to advance. If Mo Nian's grandfather was right, then wouldn't Mo Nian be able to advance all the way to the ninth rank? In other words, a true celestial? Ha ha ha, Long Chen, your brother really is about to rise. Don't worry, in the future, your brother will look after you. 
Mo Nian laughed. Long Chen looked at Mo Nian's wretched expression and couldn't help but shake his head. Feeling this promise wasn't so reliable, it was best to still depend on himself. The night passed silently. The next morning, Long Chen was surprised to hear that Shen Wenlong had arrived. Chapter 574 Timely Assistance Translator Born to be Shen Wenlong your efficiency really makes me prostrate myself before you in admiration. Long Chen cheerfully looked at the medicinal ingredients in the spatial ring. Not only had all the ingredients for the life fate pill been gathered, but there were also dozens of practically extinct medicinal ingredients that Shen Wenlong had managed to find. Long Chen directly sent all these medicinal ingredients into the primal chaos space. Those withered plants immediately began to revive and germinate. Ah, Long Chen. You have to take care of yourself for your brother. I invested a huge sum of money into you. Right now, I owe my sect a huge debt. If you end up in an unexpected accident, then I won't even be able to repay that debt in my lifetime. So Long Chen, you have to live at least a hundred years No, It would be best if you could live forever. Zhen Wenlong looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. Whether it was the ocean's worth of bone-tempering pills he had provided Long Chen or these incredibly precious medicinal ingredients. Zhen Wenlong had used his own authority to give them to Long Chen. Up to the current point, the amount of capital he had invested in Long Chen far surpassed the profit Long Chen had given the Huaian sect therefore. Zhen Wenlong owed an immense debt. He, Brother Wenlong, don't worry, good people don't have long lives, but scoundrels live for a millennia. Someone like me is fated to live over a thousand years. Long Chen laughed. Then that's good. Otherwise, this business of mine really will end up sinking. Last month. We began selling the bone tempering pills, and our total sales. Zhen Wenlong took out a piece of paper for Long Chen. Don't give this to me. Just looking at it gives me a headache. In any case, I know that even if you take out my portion of these sales, I still owe you a huge sum. Trust me, in the upcoming period, I will slowly repay this debt. I definitely won't let you end with a loss. Long Chen smiled. All right, then I will continue using my full authority to provide you with the resources you need. Let me say it again, I swear on the business god's name that I won't cheat you even a single copper, swore Zhen Wenlong. This time, I called you because I want to resolve the Mo family's current crisis. I'm sure you're aware the Pill Tower is using the Mo family to show their power after being viciously slapped in the face by your Huaian sect. These idiots want to kill the chicken to warn the monkey. I hope the Huaian sect can cooperate with the Mo family. After all, the Mo family has a great number of businesses and plenty of resources. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Furthermore, without a further supply of medicinal pills, the Mo family might be fine temporarily, but no matter how large the mountain, they can't survive forever like this, said Long Chen. That's no problem. Of course, my Huai insects' medicinal pills are made to be sold. It's the same no matter who we sell them to. As for Mo Gate, they truly are rich. We can cooperate. However, you also know that I'm very busy with the bone tempering pills. I don't have that much time, so I'll arrange for Beiling to be in charge of our business with Mogate. You know that Beiling is very meticulous. She's much more suitable for handling this than me, said Shen Wenlong. Haha, <laughs> you don't have time, so you send your wife to help, laughed Long Chen. Cough, Brother Long is joking. We, oui, it's still too early. Shen Wenlong actually reddened when mentioning Beiling. It seemed even businessmen weren't so proficient when it came to matters of the heart. I don't mind who's in charge. In any case, I'm very confident with how the Huaian sect handles things. Other than this, I have a new money-making project I want to discuss with you, said Long Chen wickedly. Oh, what project? Zhen Wenlong's eyes lit up. He, I'm sure brother Wenlong recognizes what this is. Long Chen took out a fist-sized fruit. Meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. With his vision. Zhen Wenlong naturally recognized it at a single glance. But in truth, one meridian opening spirit cliff fruit was not enough to make him this shocked. However, this particular fruit was glistening and plump. It had clearly just been picked from the tree. Spatial rings might be known for having static spaces, and things theoretically would stay fresh. But such high-grade spiritual fruits would still end up losing their essence in spatial rings, their light fading and their bodies becoming withered. However, this one was still completely new. In other words, Long Chen had to possess a meridian opening spirit cliff tree. Long Chen truly did have that tree, and not just one, but a forest of hundreds of them. This was all thanks to Yun Wusheng's generosity. That one fruit had reproduced limitlessly. Damn, 
You actually possess a meridian opening spirit cliff tree. If you sold it, it would go for an immense price. Sides Hen Wenlong emotionally. He was really unable to understand Long Chen anymore. These fruits were things that only the ancient Yun family possessed. Each year, they would only sell a limited quantity, but that was enough to bring them an immense profit. How high of a price? Asked Long Chen. If such a treasure was auctioned, the price would at least be 3,000 middle grade spirit stones. Ah, you might not be aware, but a single middle grade spirit stone is equivalent to 1 million ordinary spirit stones. Furthermore, that's just the minimum price. If we were to advertise it and then hold an auction, it would draw over countless huge powers. I can't estimate an upper limit, but I can see it going for over 10 times that price. Guests Hen Wenlong. Really, it's that valuable? Asked Long Chen. Surprised. Of course. Meridian opening spirit cliff fruits are the best ingredients for meridian opening pills and by a lot. There are quite a few peak powers that aren't lacking any money. All they want is the best. So the Yun family only sells a portion of their stock. They keep the rest for themselves, or they sell them in private. If others want to obtain them, it depends on their relations, explains Hen Wenlong. Only rare commodities had value. Then brother Wenlong, if all the Yun family's meridian opening spirit cliff fruits died suddenly, and then we auctioned a meridian opening spirit cliff tree, how high would the price go? Asked Long Chen. That's impossible. The Yun family relies on their meridian opening spirit cliff trees to support their entire family. They care more about them than their own wives, and experts guard them every day. They definitely won't die, said Shen Wenlong. The reason their trees haven't died yet is because they haven't run into me. If they had, those trees would have long since died. Brother Wenlong, let's cooperate for this business transaction. If this transaction succeeds, perhaps I'll be able to directly pay back all the money I owe you. Long Chen whispered a few things into Shen Wenlong's ear. Long Chen's plan almost made Shen Wenlong's eyes pop out of his head and it was his first time bursting into profanities. Fuck, how could we do that? I'll bring out the resources, you put in your auction power. As long as we manage to sell that thing, he, we'll have a 100% success rate, said Long Chen confidently. But, if that succeeds, the Yun family will go crazy. They'll come find trouble for our auction houses. Although we're not afraid of them, our reputation will take a hit. We can't do that. Zhen Wenlong shook his head. What are you afraid of? I've already thought of all that for you. Just saying you are acting on behalf of someone else to sell it, and that this product's effect is unclear. Whoever buys it has to take the risk if they want it. First display its effects, then auction it with a low starting price. Once it's auctioned off, sign a contract with the buyer. On the contract, say that this item is mysterious and you've only tested its temporary effects. As for its true, long-term effects, it needs to be slowly researched by whoever buys it then that's all. Whether or not the buyer will use it is up to them. That way, your auction house won't have to bear the slightest bit of responsibility, said Long Chen. But I still feel like this is inappropriate. Zhen Wenlong was still hesitant. What's inappropriate about it? Let me ask you, if I was your client, could I have this auction house take my place to auction something off? Asked Long Chen. Yes, then isn't it fine? Right now, I'm your client and you'll just be an intermediary who's taking a cut in the profit. I'm the one really selling the product, and you'll create a contract. Then everything will be complete, said Long Chen. Fine, I'll do it. Long Chen, don't end up harming me. Zhen Wenlong bitterly smiled. This was his first time doing such a thing. Don't worry, don't you know what kind of person I am? When would I con my own people? Long Chen patted himself on the chest confidently. All right, then I'll start working on it immediately. Zhen Wenlong nodded. Since he had agreed, he would get to work immediately. After sending off Zhen Wenlong, Long Chen also got to work. He began focusing on the primal chaos space, urging those medicinal ingredients to grow. Once the medicinal ingredients recovered to a certain point, he split them into many pieces and buried them in the ground again. The primal chaos space's soil was just too miraculous. Ordinary herbs would die from being split apart, but in the primal chaos space, they could continue growing. In less than two hours, another large medicinal field had appeared in Long Chen's primal chaos space. However, these herbs were still too young. Three days later, the first wave of ingredients finally matured. Long Chen had Mo Nian lend him a private room, and he began to refine. He didn't know what tier the life fate pill was, but according to the difficulty and the flame requirements, it should count as a fifth tier medicinal pill. 
A fifth-tier medicinal pill wasn't too difficult for the current Long Chen. A blue flame appeared over Long Chen's palm. A terrifying heat caused space to twist as if this world was about to be ignited. Little fellow, you have to be a bit more obedient. When we work together to refine pills, you can't cause any trouble. Long Chen looked at the flame in his hand nervously. This time, Long Chen was planning on using the earth flame to refine. Previously, his cultivation base hadn't been high enough to control it meticulously. The slightest slip had burned all the ingredients into ashes. Now that he had advanced to meridian opening, his spiritual strength had also grown stronger. Furthermore, after nourishing the earth flame all this time, it had also grown slightly. According to reason, the stronger an earth flame grew, the more difficult it would be to control. However, his earth flame had its own spirit that could work together with Long Chen to control the heat. The flame seedling swayed slightly. The flame serpent tattoo on Long Chen's arm lit up. Long Chen smiled and he gently sent the flame into his pill furnace. Novaloon.com CM Chapter 575 Condensing the Life Fate Star Translator Born to be the pill furnace let out an intense rumble. The pill furnace was shining, and the entire room was lit up. Runes actually appeared on the pill furnace. He, as expected, Hua Wufang really had money. This pill furnace actually has inscriptions on it to reflect the energy. Long Chen smiled. This pill furnace's runes could increase the quality of the medicinal pills refined in it. However, ordinary medicinal pills were unable to cause these runes to activate. Only when refining higher tier medicinal pills would they appear. Gently opening the lid, a pillar of light soared out. That beautiful light filled the entire room with color. Nine medicinal pills lay there. Light revolved around them. They had nine rings, looking like nine little serpents swimming around the medicinal pills. Most shocking of all. Not even the slightest pill fragrance appeared in the air. That was because all the medicinal energy had been locked inside the medicinal pills. Nine ring high grade pills. He, that's already the limit of high grade pills. Long Chen was filled with excitement. This furnace of pills not only proved he had the strength of a pill emperor, but most importantly, it showed he was able to control the earth flame. Long Chen had been completely focused on cultivating recently. He had basically stopped practicing his alchemy. But with his pill god memories, his skills didn't grow rusty. On the other hand, because his cultivation base continued to grow, his alchemy arts also continued to improve. Pill apprentice, pill adept, pill master, pill king, pill emperor. Each of these tires represented that the alchemist could refine the corresponding medicinal pill tier. However, not everyone who could refine fifth tier medicinal pills could be called a pill emperor. In order to reach the pill king level, you had to be able to refine a ringed fourth tier medicinal pill. As for a pill emperor, the requirements were even harsher. You had to refine a five ring fifth tier medicinal pill to be able to call yourself a pill emperor. Pill emperors were extremely grand existences. Any power would treat them like a treasure. For example, in the Mo family, their alchemist could only refine three ring pills, but they were still viewed extremely importantly. Their salary was very generous. Those people couldn't even call themselves a pill emperor but already received such treatment. A true pill emperor would have been swarmed by people wherever they went. There was no way around it, as pill emperors were just too rare. Furthermore, 99% of this world's alchemists were gathered at the pill tower. Through the alchemist guilds, the pill tower managed to draw in practically every alchemist. The non-affiliated alchemists in this world were too rare. Furthermore, in all of the pill tower, Although there might be countless alchemists capable of refining fifth-tier medicinal pills, those who could refine five-ring pills were extremely rare. As for those who could refine nine-ring pills, perhaps in all of the pill tower, there wouldn't be a single person capable of that featuring even their strongest alchemists would only be able to refine eight-ring pills. That was already the limit. Furthermore, those who could refine eight-ring pills had to rely on luck to do so. Perhaps in thousands of furnaces of pills, they would only produce a single eight ring pill. Those eight ring pills would normally be saved for themselves, used to show off. They were rarely sold. As for Long Chen's furnace of pills, there were four nine ring pills and five eight ring pills. If that was made known, it would definitely shake the entire alchemy world. This is all because of the earth flame. Otherwise, there's no way I could have completely sealed the medicinal energy when refining. Seven rings would have been the limit, sighed Long Chen. The earth flame was truly too powerful. Most importantly, it had full trust in Long Chen. It worked to its full abilities to cooperate with him. That was the only reason they could achieve such a perfect result. Long Chen hadn't refined this earth flame. Instead, 
he had allowed it to keep its spirituality, allowing it to keep its own emotions and thoughts. This action of his allowed him to reap immense benefits now. If he had refined it instead, then that would have erased its spirituality. The earth flame would have become a ball of dead flames. Then relying on just his own strength, he might be able to use the power of the earth flame to fight, but he would have found it impossible to use it for alchemy. The earth flame was too strong, and there was no way he could control it perfectly with his current strength. But now, the earth flame had its own life, and after all Long Chen's nourishing, it had grown even stronger and more friendly toward Long Chen. Their minds were connected, and it would cooperate to do whatever Long Chen wanted. Only this kind of situation was able to allow him to use a berserk earth flame to refine pills. It seemed that in countless years, Long Chen was the first person able to control an earth flame for alchemy at only the meridian opening realm. Picking up one of the nine ring life fate pills, Long Chen swallowed it. It instantly dissolved the moment it reached his stomach, transforming into nine serpents of energy. Under Long Chen's guidance, they rushed directly to the Yang Quan acupoint on the bottom of his right foot. Boom. When the nine serpents reached his Yang Quan point, they ferociously collided, exploding and forming a small whirlpool. Once that whirlpool formed, a terrifying aura soared. The ground beneath Long Chen's foot became covered with cracks. Boom. Long Chen's room exploded. That terrifying aura spread throughout Mo Gate, and even the entire city shivered. What's going on? Even Mo Yi came out to see Long Chen standing on the ground, the buildings around him blown to smithereens. I don't know. Long Chen just said he had to borrow a private room. Mo Nian was also completely shocked. Long Chen's eyes were closed. Key waves violently surging out of him, causing space to tremble. Boundless energy shot out in every direction. It seems Long Chen is cultivating a kind of incredible battle skill. Mo Yunchen examined Long Chen's aura. However, he felt that this guess was a bit off. Normally, battle skills were all released outside the body, but Long Chen's aura was merely leaking out from inside him. He wasn't deliberately releasing it. That discovery made him even more shocked. Just what kind of battle skill would be this terrifying with just the aura that leaked out? Mo Yi narrowed his eyes. After not saying anything for a long time, he finally said, This Long Chen's future accomplishments might reach the point where we don't even have the qualifications to look up to him. What? That's strong. Mo Nian's heart shook. It had to be known that this grandfather of his never praised anyone. For him to say something like this was especially shocking. Nyanur, this world will belong to you youngsters in the future. That manifestation you showed me reminded me of our Mo family's first patriarch's manifestation. Mo Yi looked at Mo Nyan emotionally. Father, you mean, Mo Yunchen was startled. Don't say it, Mo Yi warned. You can't say that to anyone. In any case, Nyanur is the hope of our Mo family soaring and retrieving our old splendor. Everything will be up to Nyanur. As for this Long Chen, he has a strange aura that isolates him from inspection. Even I am unable to see through the changes to his body's spiritual key. Once he grows up, he'll be a figure that can shake the entire world. The entire world will change because of him. Grandpa, why would you evaluate him like that? Didn't you just say that I was pretty badass? Why can't you praise me? Mo Nian was a bit dissatisfied. Why would his grandfather not praise him but someone else's child? Because of Long Chen. You might turn into a legendary existence in the future. However, child, you're too disappointing. You are adaptable, but you lack a domineering spirit. Although you like to show off in normal times, making yourself seem different from others is not domineeringness. True domineeringness isn't displayed on the outside, but something you keep in your bones. As for Long Chen's domineeringness, it's something that has sunk into his flesh and blood, and even his soul. In fact, I almost have a feeling that he is inharmonious with the world as if he wants to turn the entire world into his enemy. Such a person is fiercely domineering, someone who would rather break than bend. According to reason, such a person is not suitable for growing in accordance with the heavenly deos and will be rejected. So while I said that once he grows up, he'll be able to cause the entire world to shake, this kind of person will find it very difficult to ever grow up. Sighed Mo Yi. What do you mean? Mo Nian's expression changed. With Long Chen's temperament, not only will he incur hatred from others, but he will also incur envy from the heavens. He's the opposite of you. You're too cowardly. While Long Chen is too fierce, your cowardliness will let you live longer. But at the same time, your chance to stand at the peak of the martial path will greatly decline. As for Long Chen, he's too dauntless. Not only will he have to face all kinds of trials, but he'll have to endure the natural selection of the heavenly deos. 
The chance of him growing up is minuscule. It would be best if the two of you could combine your attributes, said Moe helplessly. He continued. However, Nyanur, don't try changing Long Chen. That's absolutely impossible. Any expert has a determined Dao heart. Even if they experience thousands of tribulations, even in death, their Dao heart won't change. What you need to do is simply learn from him some more. What is domineeringness? That's what you're lacking the most. But Long Chen, he, said Mo Nian worriedly. That's the Dao he chose for himself. No one can change it. Furthermore, any Dao, if you walk it to the peak, can bring you to the point of immortal godhood. Within the Dao, there's no such thing as high or low, right or wrong, nor is there any such major Dao or minor Dao. The only thing that matters is whether a Dao is suitable to you or not. Choosing your own Dao is the best choice. The heavenly Daos are elusive. Who dares say they truly understand them? Long Chen's Dao isn't necessarily wrong, and our Dao isn't necessarily right. We just need to see how far we can walk. So Nyanur, don't have so many worries and don't do anything senseless. Trying to change him isn't helping him but harming him, warned Moe. Boom. With a final explosion, the violent key waves faded and Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. An excited glint shone within them. A single life fate pill was able to condense the embryonic form. The power of nine rings is truly great. Now it's time to condense the true life fate star. Chapter 576 Divine Soil Translator Born to be Long Chen hadn't expected that condensing the embryonic form of the life fate star would cause such a huge disturbance. But it was a good thing the Mo family was on his side. Mo Yi ordered everyone not to mention this topic again. In a different private room, Long Chen continued to condense the life fate star. Condensing a complete life fate star required an ocean's worth of medicinal pills. However, now Long Chen didn't need to worry about that. He had his miraculous primal chaos space that gave him unlimited medicinal ingredients, and there was no sign he would run out. He also had the earth flame that worked together with him. After the first experience, their second refinement went even smoother. What Long Chen was shocked about was that the earth flame spirit actually remembered the fluctuations of his flame when he refined pills. The second refinement only required half the time. Furthermore, in that second furnace of pills, there were six nine ring life fate pills that had made him go crazy with joy. Nine ring pills were the pinnacle of high-grade medicinal pills. On the surface, it only sounded like one more ring than an eight ring pill. But in reality, this single extra ring represented that the medicinal pill was almost perfect. All its essence had been locked in. Its medicinal effect would be several times greater than that of an eight ring pill. It could be described as terrifying to the peak. Medicinal pills were just that miraculous. The slightest increase in energy could cause heaven toppling changes to the medicinal effect. They couldn't be judged according to common sense. Consuming a single nine ring life fate pill had the same effect as consuming over a hundred ordinary high grade life fate pills. That greatly reduced the amount of time he needed to condense the life fate star, giving him precious breathing room. As for Mo Nian, he was directly sent to his room by his grandfather. He ordered him not to run all over the place and focus on stabilizing his cultivation base. This time, Mo Nian was very obedient, swearing that until he could use his celestial strength, he definitely wouldn't go out. Mo Nian's attitude had been extremely gratifying to his grandfather, but in truth, the little fellow only wanted to hide from Liu Zongying. While Long Chen and Mo Nian were in seclusion, the Huaian auction house held a grand auction for countless rare and precious oddities. It caused an immense commotion. Furthermore, for the final item of the auction, that said actress auctioneer Yao Nikian took out a thousand-year-old sea spirit fruit tree. That kind of tree could count as precious, but compared to some of the previous items, it was clearly slightly lackluster. However, when Yao Nikian took out a pile of yellow soil and placed it under the tree, every person was struck dumb. The fruit tree actually began to bear fruit right in front of them. In less than an incense stick's time, the entire tree became covered with fruit. Everyone practically went crazy. That was a heaven-defying item. Yao Nikian explained that this was something a mysterious client had asked the Huaian auction house to sell. There was only a total of 5,000 square meters of it. That amount was a bit shocking. However, this soil was a one-use item. It required a spirit-gathering formation to activate the life energy in the soil, and then it would allow vegetation to rapidly grow. But once the mysterious energy within the soil faded, it would become ordinary soil. Furthermore, this soil was something they had never seen before. Even the Huaian sect's master appraisers had been unable to determine its origins. For now, they only knew this much about it. 
Because it was something unknown, they warned everyone to be cautious if they wanted to buy it. Any risk would be their own responsibility. This particular auction was given to everyone as essentially a gift. And so they started the price off at the low price of 30 middle grade spirit stones. Hearing that price, the entire crowd practically erupted in bids. The bidding surpassed a thousand in just a moment. It had to be known that middle grade spirit stones didn't just contain much more spiritual key. More importantly, they contained the laws of the heavenly deos. A single middle grade spirit stone was worth 1 million low grade spirit stones. 1,000 middle-grade spirit stones was a number that could frighten a person to death. An ordinary Zyanshan expert could work for a sect for a decade before obtaining a single middle-grade spirit stone. That was how precious they were. Most terrifying of all, this was just the start. In front of this heaven-defying divine soil, no one was able to keep their calm. Any large sect had their own medicinal fields. They had their own specific rare medicines. Using the soil to vitalize those precious medicines would give them an incredible profit. 1,500, 2,000, 3,000. It was like they weren't even spending money, but simply trying to shout a higher number than anyone else. Even Yao Nikian felt like her heart was about to leap out of her chest. 8,000. In the end, a voice startled everyone out of their fervor. When they saw the speaker, none of them dared say another word. That person was the Yun family's junior master, Yun Wusheng. Originally, he hadn't been present at the auction, but once he had heard about the divine soil, he had immediately rushed over. As a result, with a single bid, he made everyone silent. On one hand, 8,000 middle grade spirit stones were truly a bit too much for some powers. That price was not something they could handle. The other reason was that it was Yun Wusheng. They immediately thought of the Yun family's meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. That made everyone immediately give up. Their own precious medicines which they had been planning on growing could not even compare to the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit's value. No matter how much money Yun Wusheng spent, he would get it back. But it was different for them. At a certain point, there would be no profit at all. It was better for them to stop while they still could, leaving behind a good impression on Yun Wusheng. Just like that, Yun Wusheng easily gained this divine soil. However, Yao Nikian had Yun Wusheng agree to sign a contract in front of everyone. This life-giving divine soil's effect could not be 100% confirmed. They were only selling it on behalf of someone else. Purchasing this divine soil posed a certain amount of risk. Therefore, the auction house would keep Yun Wusheng's 8,000 middle-grade spirit stones there for one month. During that month, if Yun Wusheng felt there was something off with the divine soil, then within that one month's time limit, he could return the divine soil and the auction house would return his money, also returning the divine soil to its owner. However, they would take a 5% service charge. This contract made everyone raise a big thumbs up to the Huai insect for how they handled their business. They truly were meticulous. For an unknown item, they didn't just sell it off and say whatever. Instead, they gave the buyer the greatest guarantee. A month was enough time to determine the truth about the soil. This contract also won Yun Wusheng's praise. And other than the 8,000 middle grade spirit stones, he also directly gave 10 middle grade spirit stones to Yao Nikian. That money spending style shocked everyone. The Yun family's people truly had money. As for Yao Nikian, she was unable to conceal her delight. In truth, she was unaware that what she had sold Yun Wusheng was not some divine soil, but an extremely terrifying soil. For safety, Zhen Wenlong had handled everything by himself. Only he knew what was happening. After the auction, all of King's House City returned to an extremely quiet state. However, many people sensed that behind this quietness, a storm was brewing. That was because the Giant Eagle Stronghold, Sky Cry Mansion, and Pure River Valley had begun gathering their experts. Although they kept their movements quiet, there was no way they could keep them concealed. Furthermore, considering how many people the three great powers possessed, there was no way they could keep it top secret. Although they announced to the outside world that they were just making some adjustments, that just made it more conspicuous. Ten days later, Long Chen walked out of his private room. His gaze was now electric, and his aura had become reserved. If Long Chen could be described as a sharp blade being unsheathed on the day that he had condensed the embryonic life fate star, then the current him had been resheathed, his sharpness hidden. However, the current Long Chen felt even more terrifying, because once this blade was unsheathed, Rivers of blood would flow. During this time, Long Chen didn't know how many pills he had consumed. He estimated that it would have to be counted in the hundreds. He had had to regrow those precious medicines several times. Right now, 
the life fate star was in the condensing state. The star had received enough energy and needed to rely on circulating its own power to digest that energy and reach its fully condensed state. This was the first time such a thing had occurred in Long Chen's experience. The life fate star was fully saturated, and he needed to wait for the life fate star to fully condense itself. That wouldn't require any pills. Perhaps it was that the pills he had consumed this time were too high grade. When he had condensed the Feng Fu star and the Aleph star, the medicinal pills hadn't been able to keep up with the demand. But this time, the supply had exceeded the demand. However, once it finished condensing, he would still need to continue consuming life fate pills. That was because after the star condensation, he needed to undergo the nine star transformations. Only then would the star reach its perfect state, and only then would he be able to summon the complete three star battle armor. Moreover, in the past few days, as the life fate star gradually grew, Long Chen felt his body completely transforming. He felt like each one of his cells was growing stronger. His strength was growing explosively, and even he was unaware of what level it had grown to. He was preparing to go find Mo Nian to exchange some blows. But what Long Chen hadn't expected was that Mo Nian had also exited his seclusion. As soon as he came out, he went to find Long Chen. As a result, the two of them ran into each other. TCH, little brat, how dare you go on a rampage in my Mo Gate? Is it that you don't place this junior gate master in your eyes? Mo Nian provoked Long Chen. Long Chen noticed that Mo Nian's original aura had completely disappeared. It seemed he had already completely merged with those two heavenly Deo seeds and become a true celestial. I really look down on you. Don't learn from those idiots outside. If you want to fight, then just say it directly. But first of all, it's been many days since I ate. How about we find a place to fill our stomachs first? Suggested Long Chen. Now that you mention it, I'm also pretty hungry. Then should we go to the Immortal Intoxication Building? Although it's expensive, there really is nothing that can be said about the food, said Mo Nian. The food might be good, but let's not. I don't like going to that place. Let's go to your restaurant instead. The restaurant across the street is pretty good. Long Chen shook his head. He definitely didn't want to face people like Yu Tong and Zi Yan again. To tell the truth, Yu Tong was an extremely rare beauty, and while Zi Yan had been veiled, Long Chen could tell she definitely had to be very beautiful as well. However, Long Chen disliked their temperaments. As for why he didn't like them, he wasn't able to describe it clearly. In any case, he disliked it. Mo Nian didn't force it since Long Chen didn't want to go to the Immortal Intoxication Building. He and Long Chen changed their clothes and had just left Mo Gate when a panting figure rushed over. Long Chen. Something's happened. Chapter 577 Kill Without Mercy Translator. Born to be Zhang Wu? What happened? Long Chen saw it was the Muxu mercenary unit's Zhang Wu. Currently, he was covered in blood and had an anxious expression. Long Chen, leader Muzu was captured by others. What? Long Chen and Mo Nian were both startled. Today, our Muxu mercenary unit went outside the city to handle some small things, but we didn't expect a group of masked people to attack us midway. We, we, as soon as we clashed, several of our brothers died. Leader Muzu ordered us to return and tell you. She activated her crystal bone to block those experts. However, they were too strong. Leader was still captured. At the time, I was fleeing for my life, and I don't know just how many others managed to survive. Reaching here, Shang Wu couldn't hold back from sobbing. Do you know who did it? Asked Long Chen. They were masked and wearing black robes to hide their identity. However, when Leader Mu Zhu fought with them, she killed one of them and a badge dropped from his pocket. It was someone from the Giant Eagle Stronghold said Zhang Wu. Long Chen's expression was dark as he said to Mo Nian, let's go, we're going killing. Mo Nian asked, who are we killing? They wore masks intentionally to not leave any evidence. Once you get there, do you think they'll admit to it? It's better for me to discuss it with my old man. Mo Nian, ah, Mo Nian, tell me, are you a coward? Long Chen icily spat that out before pulling on Zhang Wu. Let's go, bring me to the giant eagle stronghold. Mo Nian hastily caught up. Fuck, how am I a coward? I'm just worried that even if you go, you'll have to leave dejected. What is there to be dejected about? I'm going there to kill people, not to catch criminals. What evidence do I need? If you're my brother, then just don't say anything. Quietly follow me to kill those people. I'll let you see what that hegemon Deo is, said Long Chen icily. Fine, brothers should stick together. I'll follow you, sighed Mo Nian. He remembered what his grandfather had told him. 
Long Chen was too domineering, while he was too cowardly. If the two of them could complement each other, it would be perfect. Shang Wu, since Mo Nian is accompanying me, there's no need for you to lead the way. You can stay at Mo Gate. If the others are alive, they'll definitely come here to find me. You'll receive them. No one would dare do anything to them here, said Long Chen. Long Chen, I beg you, you must bring back leader, cried Zhang Wu. Don't worry, even if I have to risk my life, I will bring back leader. Long Chen and Mo Nian disappeared from Mo Gate. When the two of them left, a person hastily went to report the matter to Mo Yi, who was in a room with the other higher-ups of the Mo family. Let them go. Children need to grow up in the end. That child Mo Nian is too smart and cautious. He hasn't suffered enough in his life, which is why his growth is so slow. He always does things too safely and doesn't possess enough daring. This time, our opponent is clearly intentionally provoking us. Let's just watch what idiocy they're up to now, said Mo Yi. Do we need to make any preparations? Asked Mo Yunshin. No need. In front of absolute strength, plans and intelligence are useless. All you need to do is watch out for those two children in secret. Unless you have to, don't reveal yourself, said Mo Yi. Yes, Mo Yunshin bowed to Mo Yi and then left. Within the Immortal Intoxication Building, Zi Yan was looking at the private letter in her hand, frowning. You obtained it this quickly. It's because someone else already asked the Shadow Gate to investigate everything about Long Chen. When I went, I just directly bought the information again, said Shalu. Oh? Someone asked the Shadow Gate to investigate Long Chen? To have such abilities, this power must not be ordinary, said Zi Yan. You're right. It was done by the Yun family. I had to use my identity plate for them to tell me that, said Shalu. Zi Yan read through a great deal of information written in the letter. An incense sticks time later, she sighed. So when Long Chen was a child, he had to endure all kinds of suffering from people, and then later, he obtained some kind of unknown opportunity, soaring like a meteor, from the Phoenix Cry Empire to the Zhuanshan Monastery and then to the Jiuli Secret Realm. He forced his way through all his obstacles, using the most direct and simplest way to crush all his enemies beneath his feet. In the Jiuli Secret Realm, he ended up being the enemy of the righteous and corrupt paths and it said he obtained quite a few treasures in the secret realm. Many people are hidden in the dark, keeping watch over his every move. No wonder he is so guarded. However, I feel like this Long Chen's character is very good. He cares about his people and is willing to even risk his life for them. But as for his enemies, he will cut them into a thousand pieces with his blade. Although he is vicious, he hasn't lost what it means to differentiate between kindness and enmity, said Shalu. Differentiating between kindness and enmity is fine, but such actions do not conform with the heavenly deos. Resentment will not fade because of slaughter. Instead, it will only grow stronger. Those who were killed will be dead, but their pain will be left to their family, their friends. Thus, the seeds of hatred are planted and will grow limitlessly. That's why the current world has turned into its current chaotic state, and it has even affected the heavenly deos. After our immortal palace's inheritance was severed, Successive generations of our palace masters poured their sweats and their tears in an attempt to connect with the heavenly deos and restore our inheritance. However, other than those immortal era paintings, nothing useful was left behind. That's the only reason we have to go out for tempering and examine the numerous aspects of the world. It's in the hope that in our lifetimes, we can grasp the laws of the heavenly deos and find the true meaning of the deo, sighed Zi Yan. But what does that have to do with Long Chen? Shalu did not understand. Long Chen was able to form a resonance with the paintings. That means he's someone who has a destiny with our immortal palace. But of those many paintings, he only formed a resonance with the ninth divine emissary. It really is a pity. However, no matter what, we still need to keep observing him. Perhaps we'll be able to comprehend another side of the heavenly deos from him, said Zi Yan. However, she felt uncomfortable inside. Ever since she had started cultivating, her heart had been calm like water. Even facing death, her Dao heart had never wavered. But on that day, Long Chen had used his mental strength to forcibly escape from her artistic realm, snapping her zither string and giving her a backlash. From that moment on, Zi Yan's heart was no longer able to stay calm. An indescribable fluctuation was present within her, and no matter how she tried, she couldn't completely erase it. That both shocked her and gave her a trace of fear. That was because the devil star her master had seen in her future had finally appeared. Of course, toward this illusory and empty thing known as fate, people naturally felt a kind of resistance. At the same time, 
they would feel a bit of curiosity. Zi Yan was no exception. She wanted to see just how this so-called devil star could influence her. Oh, this aura, isn't it Long Chan's? Shock flashed across Zi Yan's eyes. She put on her veil and disappeared from the immortal intoxication building. Long Chan, the giant eagle stronghold is up ahead. Have you figured out what you're going to do? Mo Nian pointed to a huge castle up ahead. Yes, the two of them moved quickly, crossing dozens of miles in just a moment to stand in front of the giant eagle stronghold's castle. This dazzling castle was hundreds of miles wide. Gold and jade shone in their glory, and the entire castle almost looked as if it had been made of gold. What person dares come here? Idlers should distance themselves from my giant eagle stronghold. Over ten guards were standing in front of the castle. They called out a warning when they saw two people rapidly approaching. Their response was an immense saber image that slashed down on their gate. Boom. The huge gate exploded and a terrifying key wave erupted. That wave contained many flying stones. And countless cries rang out from within. Who dares cause a ruckus at my giant eagle stronghold? Furious roars rang out. And countless figures rushed out of the castle. Within the dust and rubble, Long Chen slowly walked forward. His saber rested on his shoulder his killing intent surging. Hand over Mu Zhu, or I will kill you all without mercy. His cold voice echoed throughout the castle. His icy killing intent was not concealed in the slightest, and it caused their hearts to shiver. Brazen brat, you want to frame my giant eagle stronghold? Kill him. Dozens of Xi'anchen experts charged at Long Chen and Mo Nian. Idiot, you forgot to change your clothes. Long Chen looked towards a person in black robes and a bamboo hat that concealed his face. That person's expression changed and he was about to say something when a celestial blade mercilessly slashed towards him. Boom. A dozen people surrounding him were all sent flying, wildly vomiting blood in the air. Since you don't want to hand her over, then don't blame me for starting a massacre. Even as he said this, Long Chen had already shot forward like a bolt of lightning, appearing beside a Xi'anchen expert and slashing down his saber. That Xi'anchen expert's weapon was cut in two along with its master by Long Chen's blood-colored saber. Long Chen noticed that Bloodrinker's spirit was coming out of its dormant state as his own strength increased. It was becoming sharper and stronger. Furthermore, he sensed that after killing this Xi'anchen expert, Bloodrinker transmitted a feeling of excitement to him. That made Long Chen think of how the barbarian expert had bestowed it the name Bloodrinker. So it was actually capable of drinking the blood of experts to strengthen itself. However, Bloodrinker seemed to have suffered a heavy loss. When that barbarian race expert had turned to dust, it had expressed an intense feeling of sadness. And then afterward, Long Chen hadn't sensed any further emotions from it. Only once his cultivation base had reached Meridian Opening had Bloodrinker revived slightly. The feeling Long Chen had was that it greatly desired to kill experts. PFFT. No. Ah. In front of their shocked eyes, Long Chen seemed to be like a crazy devil in human form. He was constantly shuttling back and forth focusing on reaping the lives of the Xi'anchen experts, those meridian opening and below, who had been prepared to join in, all fled in fear. Seeing this scene, how could they possibly dare go forward? Most terrifying of all, Long Chen's blood-colored saber was able to easily destroy Xi'anchen weapons. There was no way to block him, to cause a ruckus at my home. You really are courting death. A furious row rang out, and an immense fist image filled the sky bringing with it boundless pressure as it crashed down on Long Chen. Chapter 578 I came here to kill translator. Born to be I didn't come here to cause a ruckus. I came here to kill. Seeing that huge fist image, Long Chen knew that the giant eagle stronghold's master, Luo Yingsheng, had come. With an icy snort, he slashed his saber at that fist image. Bang. The ground trembled intensely, and Long Chen was blown back dozens of meters by the fist image cutting a long ditch in the ground before stabilizing. However, Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. That fist had been the full-strength attack of a Xi'anchen weapon, but he had relied on just his physical body to receive it. Although it had been a bit difficult, and his hands felt numb now, that didn't stop him from feeling delighted. It had to be known that when he had received Luo Yingsheng's attack previously, he had drawn on Bloodrinker's power. Although Bloodrinker's power was mighty, it was also very demanding on his spiritual key, but now, relying entirely on his physical body, he had managed to receive the same attack. What? Everyone present was dumbfounded. Just what kind of power was that? How was it possible for him to rely on his Haoshan power to block a Xi'anchen weapon? Long Chen raised his saber again, charging straight at a stupefied Luo Yingsheng. Hand over Mu Zhu, bastard. 
What nonsense are you talking about? Luo Yingsheng was both startled and furious, hastily raising his hands to block. He wore a special set of gloves which was his best Xi'anchen weapon. Since you don't know, then you can go die. Long Chen shouted coldly, and his blood-colored saber released a heaven-shaking cry as it slashed down on Luo Yingsheng. Bang! Blood flew. Everyone was horrified to see that although Luo Yingsheng's gloves were fine after receiving Long Chen's attack, his arms had been broken into pieces. Luo Yingsheng shrieked and fell back. As for the other Xi'anchen experts, they were all terrified. They were caught between charging forward and fleeing for their lives. Die. Long Chen's second slash mercilessly slashed down, his aura locking Luo Yingsheng down. Buzz. Luo Yingsheng formed a hand seal, and a copper statue of an eagle spreading its wings appeared before him. Long Chen's saber slashed down on the statue's head. The huge bronze statue was smashed into the ground, the ground crumbling. A terrifying key wave instantly destroyed the surrounding buildings, and the giant eagle stronghold's experts were directly sent flying. Luo Yingsheng vomited a mouthful of blood, and his body actually became covered with cracks, looking like porcelain on the verge of shattering. His blood seeped out of those cracks, appearing incredibly frightening. Your tortoise shell is pretty hard, but I don't believe I can't break it. Long Chen shouted, blood drinker already raised high in the air. Stop. A sudden shout rang out and two figures charged at Long Chen. One was the Pure River Valley's master Sun Changshao, while the other was a wizened elder, the Sky Cry Mansion's Wang Yishan. Piercing Cloud Arrow. A huge arrow shot straight at the two of them. Even before the arrow arrived, space released an intense rumbling as if heaven and earth were about to be pierced through by this arrow. Sun Changshao and Wang Yishan's expressions completely changed. They had never imagined Mo Nian's strength had reached such a terrifying level. Most terrifying of all. Mo Nian's arrow contained the might of the heavenly deos. They were immediately locked down by heaven and earth, unable to dodge. Celestial, the two of them were horrified. In the face of that arrow, they roared and took out their weapons, smashing them at the arrow. Bang! The two of them were forced back by Mo Nian's arrow. They were both horrified, glaring at the distant bow carrying man. Boom! Suddenly, another explosive sound rang out, and all of King's house city trembled. Dust surged out like a tsunami. The giant eagle stronghold was raised down by this terrifying key wave. Those ancient buildings were turned to powder. When people recovered their sight, they were horrified to find that Luo Yingsheng's huge statue had crumbled. As for Luo Yingsheng, he had disappeared. They were unable to sense his aura, and they were unable to even find a piece of his body. The giant eagle stronghold's people were all white as paper. It was unknown who screamed and fled first. Following one person. A chain reaction started as people fled for their lives. Now that their master had been turned into just a bloody mist, not even his corpse remaining, who would dare make Long Chen their enemy? Now, Long Chen pointed his saber at the horrified Sun Changsha and Wang Yishan. Hand over Mu Zhu. Sun Changsha and Wang Yishan's expressions immediately became exceedingly ugly, and they icily said, What do you mean? Hand over Mu Zhu? We don't know what you're talking die. Not waiting for them to finish. Long Chen's saber released a blood-red light into the sky and then slashed down mercilessly on the two of them. Bastard. You're courting death. Intolerable bullying. Sun Changsha and Wang Yishan were infuriated. Long Chen completely ignored their explanation, treating their words as just farts. Wang Yishan roared and smashed his staff at Long Chen. Sun Changsha was about to attack as well when Mo Nian appeared in front of him. His bow shot a ray of black light straight at him. Your opponent is me. Sun Changsha was startled and hastily raised his sword to defend. However, he didn't expect Mo Nian's arrow to quiver slightly, and that his attack suddenly disappeared. Before he could react, an irresistible force sent him shooting out. Rain of arrows falls on the heavens. Mo Nian's bow shook, and countless runes on it lit up. Millions of arrows shot out at Sun Changsha. Those arrows were like bolts of lightning. Not only were they incredibly fast, but they also sealed all of heaven and earth. There was nowhere to go. Sun Changsha released his full strength, his sword turning into a sky full of sword images to block, but a minuscule arrow slipped through a small crack in his defenses, directly piercing through his thigh and bringing about a rain of blood. What? Sun Changsha is already injured with just one attack. This huge fight had long since drawn over countless spectators, but as soon as they arrived, they saw a scene that shocked them. Long Chen was fighting with Wang Yishan, while Mo Nian was fighting Sun Changsha. It had to be known that those two were half stepsy expansion experts. Other than the Mo family, they stood at the peak of King Prefecture's martial path. But now, 
The two of them were blocked by two youngsters, and from their current positions, it seemed they were being suppressed. Who wouldn't be shocked? Within the crowd, Mo Yunchen was wearing a bamboo hat to conceal his face as he watched. Seeing Mo Nian fight like a god of war, he was filled with pride. Mo Nian had completely adapted to his celestial strength. He knew how to use the energy of the heavenly deos to make his attacks even sharper. It could be said that Mo Nian's current combat abilities were not one speck below his own. The thing that gratified him the most was that not only had Mo Nian's disposition begun to change, but even his fighting style had changed. He was starting to develop his own domineeringness. That was what made him the happiest. Long Chen uses very domineering means. He directly went over and demanded them to hand over his friend without asking any questions. When he didn't receive a reply, he just directly started a slaughter. Yu Tong and Zi Yan were hidden, but they had seen everything from the start. They felt Long Chen to be too domineering. If there was some kind of misunderstanding here, wouldn't he have made an enormous mistake? Could it be that after killing the innocent, he wouldn't feel the slightest bit guilty? Zi Yan sighed and didn't say anything. She just quietly watched. She couldn't figure out what kind of ending Long Chen wanted through his actions. Boom. Long Chen's saber viciously slashed onto Wang Yishan's staff. Sparks flew, and an immense explosion rocked the heavens. Long Chen and Wang Yishan were both blown back. However, Long Chen immediately stamped on the ground and charged forward again. His imposing, bold, and domineering actions caused everyone's hearts to shake. Furthermore, at this time, his saber was cutting through the ground as he charged, making it so no one could tell when or what his next attack would be. The current Long Chen seemed extremely odd. He seemed like a fool who knew nothing about martial arts. Someone relying purely on brute strength to risk his life against others. Wang Yishan coldly snorted and swept his staff sideways, aiming for Long Chen's waist. However, he had only just sent out this attack when everyone was shocked to see Long Chen ignore this staff and also sent his saber slashing towards Wang Yishan's waist. What? He wants to die together. Has he gone crazy? Everyone was dumbfounded. Even Mo Yunshan. No one would have imagined Long Chen would act like this. Mo Yunshan didn't have time to save him at this point. He, you want to fight like this? All right, I've already lived for so many years. You think I'd be afraid of you? Wang Yishan sneered. Long Chen wanted to force him to change his attack? Keep dreaming. But then seeing Long Chen's icy and mocking expression, Wang Yishan finally had a bad feeling. Long Chen wasn't trying to force him to change moves, but truly trying to kill them both. Wang Yishan had lived for many years, but the longer a person lived, the more they cherished their life. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done such outrageous acts to extend his lifespan. However, he didn't have time to change his attack. He could only watch as Long Chen's saber approached his waist. Bang. PFFT. In front of everyone's horrified gazes, Wang Yishan's staff smashed into Long Chen's ribs, and the sound of bones breaking rang out loud and clear. Long Chen's body changed form from this attack and he was sent flying back. But before he was sent flying, his blood-colored saber cut Wang Yishan in two at the waist. Long Chen, Mo Nian let out a furious roar. He wanted to go see if Long Chen could be saved, but Sun Changsha suddenly erupted into a frenzy of attacks, holding him back. The entire crowd sighed with regret. A youngster with limitless potential had actually chosen to bring down a practically fossilized old man at the cost of his life. No matter how they looked at it, it wasn't worth it. Long Chen, Yu Tong and Zi Yan also had never expected Long Chen to be this stupid. It had to be known that Wang Yishan had struck with his full strength. The fact that Long Chen hadn't been blown into a bloody mist was already beyond their expectations. However, there was clearly no way for him to survive. For some unknown reason, seeing Long Chen's contorted figure caused an indescribable pain to appear in Zi Yan's heart. Had he died just like this? What? Suddenly, people let out shocked cries. Chapter 579 Hidden Dragon Abode Translator Born to be Long Chen, who was practically bent in half due to Wang Yishan's attack, suddenly straightened and stood up in front of everyone's horrified gazes. Now everyone was truly dumbfounded. His physical body had actually been able to receive a full-strength attack from a half-step C expansion expert. If they hadn't personally seen it, none of them would have believed it. But even though they had personally seen it, there were still many people who suspected their eyes had broken. Resting his saber on his shoulder, Long Chen walked over to Wang Yishan's bisected body. Wang Yishan's attack truly had been very vicious. It had broken quite a few of Long Chen's bones, and his inner organs had been basically destroyed. However, he had the primal chaos bead. 
the huge trees in the primal chaos space had already matured by this time. Their life energy was like an ocean, and just extracting an insignificant amount of it allowed him to fully recover. Long Chen found that ordinary attacks were unable to exhaust much of the tree's life energy. Only Dao injuries required such a huge amount of life energy to heal. That was also why Long Chen had needed to spend so much time healing after his battle with Yun Wusheng. But now, it only took a breath to heal. You, Wang Yishan was a half step expansion expert. Although he was almost ready to be placed in a coffin, he still had powerful vitality. Even cut in two, he wouldn't die immediately. Speak. Where is Mu Zhu? Asked Long Chen icily. I suddenly, Long Chen's saber cut through Wang Yishan's throat. After cutting off his head, Long Chen shook his head. Actually, I don't need you to speak. That's too strenuous. There's still one alive over there. Long Chen took Wang Yishan's head and his spatial ring. He arrived at Mo Nian and Sun Chang Shao's battlefield. Where is Mu Zhu? Asked Long Chen. This matter isn't related to me. I just helped a bit. If you let me off, I'll immediately tell you. Seeing Long Chen also come over on top of Mo Nian, Sun Chang Shao was terrified. I'll give you to the count of three. If you won't tell me, you'll die. One, two, I'll tell you. Mu Zhu was sent to the hidden dragon abode. I a blood-colored saber cut off his head as he pled for his life. With how much of his attention was diverted by Mo Nian's arrows, he didn't have the slightest ability to resist. His head flew high into the air. Time seemed to slow down as that head spun in the air. Another half step C expansion expert had been killed. That was an existence that stood at the peak of King Prefecture. The masters of the three great sects had all been killed. Long Chen caught Sun Chang Shao's head. I'll use your heads as a sacrifice to the Muxu mercenary unit's warriors buzz. Suddenly, an azure light flew out of Sun Chang Shao's head and fled. HMPH, your spiritual strength is pretty strong. You want to steal a body for rebirth? Just wait for your next life. Long Chen raised a finger and a bolt of lightning smashed the azure light to pieces. That was Sun Chang Shao's soul. He had abandoned his physical body, hoping to eventually find another body to take over. Unfortunately, he had no chance. Everyone felt a chill. Long Chen was too vicious, not leaving the slightest leeway for them. Let's go. You know where that hidden dragon abode is, right? Asked Long Chen, putting away Sun Chang Shao's head. That place is. Mo Nian's tone was grave. Even if it is a cave of dragons and tigers, I'll still go, said Long Chen. Fine then. Fuck. If we're going to cause a ruckus, we might as well make it a big ruckus. I'll also throw caution to the wind. Mo Nian clenched his teeth, and he led Long Chen out of the city. Once they left, Mo Yunchen also disappeared amongst the crowd. The others also began to rush towards the hidden dragon abode. The news that the top experts of the three great sects had been slaughtered spread throughout King's House City. These powers that had dominated for countless years had been completely uprooted. Now that their strongest experts had been killed, then even if the Mo family didn't do anything, just the smaller powers that had been suppressed by them would divvy up their territories for themselves. Hearing that Long Chen and Mo Nian were going to the Hidden Dragon abode after killing the three great powers masters, countless people began to rush outside the city. Even some of the restaurants and taverns in the city closed their doors. They had no choice because even their chefs and workers left to watch the excitement. The hidden dragon abode was in a secluded place 300 miles south of the city. The scenic lakes and mountains were beautiful and charming here. The hidden dragon abode was a mysterious existence. It was rumored that its background was terrifying, but it never fought with others. Simply quietly sitting there, no one knew their true strength. There had been some people who had tried testing the hidden dragon abode's strength, but without exception. Those people had all disappeared. It was said that even Mo Gate would never go provoke the hidden dragon abode. Just like that, the hidden dragon abode had quietly sat outside the city for centuries. When Long Chen and Mo Nian arrived there, they saw the peaceful abode. It definitely had the flavor of a hidden cultivation world. However, Long Chen wasn't in the mood to look at that. He saw the large gate up ahead. Seeing the three words, hidden dragon abode, written on the top, he slashed out his saber without hesitation. Boom. The immense gate crumbled. A mocking voice came from within. Long Chen, you really are rude. You should learn some manners before you come out in public. Hearing that voice, Long Chen's heart sank. He clenched his saber and slowly advanced forward. Going through the ruined gates, he walked thousands of meters before he arrived at a small, elegant pavilion. Three people were sitting within the pavilion. These three people were all people Long Chen knew. One was Yun Wusheng. One was Yun King and the last was Mu Zhu. 
Muzu's face was pale as paper, and she was sitting motionlessly. Obviously, some kind of restriction had been placed on her body. Her eyes were filled with endless hate. When she saw Long Chen, tears streamed out of her eyes, appearing incomparably pitiful. Beauty, why are you crying? Are you unhappy to be invited over as a guest by me? Yin Wusheng smiled at Muzu and reached out a hand to wipe Muzu's cheek. Yin Wusheng, I really never expected you to be this shameless. The enmity between the two of us should be settled between the two of us. Within the Immortal Intoxication Building, I already said that if you wanted to die, you could find me at any time, not the people by my side. Long Chen glared icily at Yun Wusheng. At this time, countless people also arrived and watched from a distance. Seeing Yun Wusheng and Mu Zhu, they all immediately understood what was going on. What are you talking about? If I didn't do this, would you have come? With you hiding like a dog in Mogate, how else was I supposed to make you come out? So don't blame me. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself. However, it's not like I've done anything to junior sister Mu Zhu. I just invited her over as a guest, said Yun Wusheng lightly. A guest? Does inviting a guest require killing people? Raged Mo Nian. Killing people? Oh? How come I didn't know about that? I didn't kill anyone. I just had some people go invite Miss Mu Zhu. Who killed anyone? Tell me, and I'll definitely execute them, said Yun Wusheng. You. Mo Nian was about to explode in rage. This was clearly quibbling. Long Chen icily said, Release Mu Zhu. We'll have a life and death battle. Today, only one of us can leave this place alive. Long Chen, you should let me fight instead. He's a celestial, and you'll be suppressed, said Mo Nian hastily. Long Chen shook his head. You're too cowardly. You have no heart to kill him. If you fight with him, there's a 90% chance you'll be killed. Ha ha ha. Mo Nian is it? Don't think that you're unrevealed just because you became a celestial through your ancestral inheritance. Against a celestial that awakened naturally like me, you are just a drag. Long Chen's right. I can kill you as easily as killing a dog, said Yun Wusheng icily, disdainfully looking at Mo Nian. Mo Nian's eyes turned red. Long Chen's words had already been hard enough for him to accept, but Yun Wusheng's words were a naked humiliation. Long Chen patted Mo Nian on the shoulder. A battle isn't won by showing off or bragging. Instead, it's a cruel fact that it is whoever is more vicious that lives. You haven't experienced enough, and you don't understand what it means to have the heart to kill. So when you fight, you end up losing out a great deal. A true battle is not as simple as who is stronger and who is weaker. Instead, it's all kinds of different contests against your enemy, and once your enemy grasps your weak point, you'll receive a flurry of fatal attacks until you die. The current you is not his match. That's not because you aren't as strong as him, but because you don't have enough determination. Determination to kill your opponent no matter what. You still don't understand what hate is. This battle is mine. Pay close attention. There was no need to doubt Mo Nian's strength. Long Chen could sense his power. But the amount of power a person could release in a battle was a different concept from their absolute strength. As for Yun Wusheng, he was a true expert who had fought and killed. In terms of that mental realm, Mo Nian was unable to compare to Yun Wusheng. If they fought, it was very likely he would be killed. Even if he wasn't killed, such a miserable defeaturing when he was so high-spirited about merging with two heavenly Dao seeds would be a grave impact to Mo Nian. Release Mu Zhu, said Long Chen. Sorry, Mu Zhu is my guest. It would be rude of me to send her off as soon as she came. I think I'll return junior sister Mu Zhu after our battle. Although I didn't invite her to a meal or tea, treating her to a spectacular performance is also pretty good, said Yun Wusheng lightly. He was clearly worried that after releasing Mu Zhu, Long Chen would immediately back out. After all, who would foolishly just send themselves to their death? So he had to keep Mu Zhu in his grasp. He had already investigated Long Chen. He knew his weak point, and so he didn't mind the infamy if he could draw him out. Killing Long Chen was imperative to him. Not only was that because of his secrets, but it was also because of their previous battle. That loss was a stain on his cultivation career and he needed to wash it away. Shameless and despicable. You're clearly using a person to extort others, but you still make it sound so pompous. Do you have any face at all Yun Wusheng? Raged Mo Nian. Yun Wusheng lacked any of the manners of an expert. Boy from the Mo family, this is the hidden dragon abode. It's not a place you can be wanton in. If you want to shout nonsense, you should return to your Mo gate. If you continue, don't blame me for taking the place of your family's seniors to teach you a lesson. Suddenly, 
a group of people walked out from the depths of the hidden dragon abode. The person leading them was a middle-aged man who looked icily at Long Chen and Mo Nian. Chapter 580 I'll help you out translator. Born to be that middle-aged man was extremely tall, but he was also especially thin. He almost seemed like a bamboo pole, giving off a strange feeling. However, his voice was like a loud bell, shaking people's eardrums. They clearly sensed he was only using his ordinary voice, but each word slammed into the depths of their souls. Long Chen and Mo Nian's hearts shook. This person's aura was extremely condensed and vast like an ocean. He gave people a pressure like standing before a mountain range that extended beyond the horizon. He should be half steps e expansion, but his cultivation technique is special. He's definitely terrifying. Seeing this person, Long Chen was shocked inside. He had seen Chu Wuhan's attack, and so he was able to identify the aura of a sea expansion expert. Although this person hadn't reached the sea expansion realm, his aura felt like surging waves crashing over them, making it so they couldn't even breathe. Although Long Chen knew this person was doing it on purpose, he was still suppressed by his aura. It was lucky that Long Chen and Mo Nian were strong enough, or just this pressure would make an ordinary Xi'anshan expert kneel before him. HMPH, who do you think you are to teach a lesson to my son? A cold snort rang out, and a figure appeared before Long Chen and Mo Nian, blocking that pressure. Father, cried Mo Nian. Mo Yunchen was filled with hostility and battle intent. He glared at that man his bow shining and his aura gradually climbing. You want to fight now? It just so happens that my hands are also getting itchy. But that thin middle-aged man merely smiled. It seems the current master of your Mo family isn't you, correct? With your cultivation base, it seems you wouldn't even be able to support your family Mo Yunchen glared icily at him. You want to test my Mo family's strength? Don't waste your time. My Mo family won't reveal our strength easily. But when we do, we'll strike like lightning and rivers of blood will flow. Ha ha ha. I hear your Mo family's old man has some health problems. It couldn't be that he has already died. Right. Sneered the middle-aged man. Fuck your mom. Mo Nian couldn't help releasing a torrent of curses. Nian or men should use their fists instead of their mouths. Don't just wildly shout abuse. Learn from Long Chen. Shouted Mo Yunshan. After chiding him, Mo Yunshan turned back to this middle-aged man. If you want to target my Mo family, then bring it on. Don't play this kind of senseless game. Haha, <laughs> I'm not playing any game. It's just that this junior friend from the Yun family wanted to exchange some pointers with someone. As his senior, I have to at least come out to bear witness to his fight. Otherwise, if when someone has lost but refuses to admit it and turns hostile Long Chen suddenly interjected. You bamboo senior, have you grown so tall that your head is lacking oxygen and you've begun to spout nonsense? It's clearly Yun Wusheng who seized my friend to force me to fight with him. I've already agreed to fight. The precondition being that he first releases my friend. Just what dung pit did you crawl out of for your ears to be full of crap? You didn't hear what we just said? Right now, the main point isn't the battle. But for Yun Wusheng to first release my friend, then the battle will immediately start. And it won't end until one of us is dead. Long Chen's words were sharp. And he was pointing at the middle-aged man as he cursed him. Killing intent erupted from the middle-aged man, but in the end, he still forced his killing intent back down. He had only revealed himself in order to force whoever was from the Mo family to appear. Now he had achieved that. The rest was up to Yun Wusheng. Yun Wusheng sneered at Long Chen. Long Chen, you are still lacking any upbringing. I've already said I invited junior sister Mu Zhu to be a guest. Once she's properly appreciated our battle, she naturally can leave. But if I release her now... Wouldn't that mean I had seized her against her will? Shameless to the peak. Every spectator was unable to watch. Who couldn't see through such obvious extortion? Long Chen glared at Yun Wusheng icily. He wasn't afraid of fighting with Yun Wusheng. But Mu Zhu was a great worry. Yun Wusheng clearly was trying to keep her as a trump card. Furthermore, with this trump card in his hands, Long Chen would be unable to use his full strength. In that case, Long Chen had no assurance in being able to defeat Chiringa powerful celestial. Long Chen was stuck in an impossible situation. Of course, Long Chen, you can also refuse. Don't worry, I definitely won't do anything to Junior Sister Mu Zhu. In my eyes, Junior Sister Mu Zhu is incredibly beautiful and refined, and I'm also not married. Now, Junior Sister Mu Zhu has already stepped into the Xi'anshan realm, and she is entirely able to increase the number of my Yun family shut up. Long Chen's furious cry was like divine thunder, and his killing intent exploded. I can shut up. 
but it'll be up to your next choice, sneered Yun Wusheng. Just at this moment, a musical voice rang out, to use a person's companion to extort them. Is that what it means to lose the humane Dao? Two women gracefully walked forward, looking like two fairies who had descended onto the world. They seemed to be walking slowly, but each step seemed to shrink the earth, and they arrived at the front in a moment. Both Long Chen and Yun Wusheng were startled, never having expected that they would appear here. These two were Yu Tong and Zi Yan. Zi Yan was veiled, and she was the one who had spoken just now. Miss Zi Yan, with your grand status, you shouldn't be involved with the mundane world. Don't you think acting like this is inappropriate of you? Asked Yun Wusheng. Long Chen and I are acquaintances. I don't want to see such a scene play out. I wonder if Mr. Yun Wusheng can release that girl for my sake. Asked Zi Yan. Sorry, but I think you've misunderstood. Let me say it again. I never kidnapped Miss Mu Zhu. You didn't kidnap her? Then why have you sealed her cultivation base? Why is your friend's hand pressed against her back so that with a single surge of spiritual key, she can kill her? If that doesn't count as kidnapping, then would it only count if there was a knife against her throat? Yu Tong couldn't help shaking her head. Yun Wusheng hadn't expected Yu Tong to be able to see through that. Even the fact that Yun King and Mu Zhu were sitting together hadn't escaped her eyes. HMPH, you shouldn't be too meddlesome, sneered Yun Wusheng. Zi Yan shook her head and sighed. She said to Yu Tong, go save that girl. Yu Tong suddenly disappeared in front of everyone's shocked gazes. When she appeared again, she was already in front of Mu Zhu. Slut, fuck off. If you dare come over, I'll immediately kill Yun King suddenly stood up. Her hand pressed against Mu Zhu's back. Twang. The sound of a zither rang out, and Yun King suddenly became still, unable to move. She was like a statue, allowing Yu Tong to take Mu Zhu away. Leave her behind. Yun Wusheng was shocked and he roared furiously, about to attack Yu Tong. But another two twangs of a zither caused intense fluctuations in heaven and earth. Yun Wusheng was horrified to see that the laws of heaven and earth seemed to form chains around him, and he was trapped. Break. He roared furiously and his aura erupted, breaking all the restrictions. But he saw that at this time, Yu Tong had already brought Mu Zhu to Long Chen's side. Originally, when Yu Tong had taken action, the middle aged man had thought about interfering, but in the end, he decided not to. He sensed something that intimidated him from Zi Yan, Long Chen, they, being released from her restrictions. Mu Zhu involuntarily threw herself into Long Chen's embrace and sobbed, thinking of her brothers who had died. She hated her own powerlessness. It's my fault. I wasn't able to protect them. Mu Zhu's choked sobbing was filled with grief and hate. It's not your fault. I was the one who implicated you all. Long Chen tightly held Mu Zhu, thinking of those brothers he had eaten with, drank with, slept with. Boundless killing intent soared out of him. Mu Zhu, go rest. A debt of blood must be paid with blood. I'll properly settle the debt with them. Long Chen patted Mu Zhu on the back and handed her to Mo Nian. He then looked at Zi Yan and Yu Tong. I, Long Chen. Owe you a favor. Zi Yan nodded. She softly said. Do you really think only slaughter can resolve hatred? Don't ask me such profound questions. Because I don't know the answers. And I don't want to know the answers. All I know is that whoever hurts me has to be exterminated. Because I don't want to suffer that pain a second time. My Dao is simple and direct. I will act according to my instinct. I don't care about good or evil. Right or wrong. All I want is to use my life to protect the lives of those I care about the most. As for other things, I'm not interested, said Long Chen. But, have you ever thought that if you continue like this, you'll never get a chance to rest? Hate will bring hate, and you will forever be facing more enemies. The slaughter Dao is not a true heavenly Dao. Zi Yan looked at Long Chen and sighed. That's because people haven't been strong enough. If I was strong enough to defy the heavens, then I would be the heavenly Daos. Then could you still say my Dao was wrong? Asked Long Chen. His words caused everyone to be dumbfounded. Those words were too brazen. He actually dared publicly say he would defy the heavens? Could it be that Long Chen didn't hold any reverence for the heavens? He wasn't afraid of dying under heavenly might? It had to be known that after reaching the Xi'anshan realm, cultivators would increase their comprehension towards the heavenly Daos, and so they would feel more reverence for the heavenly Daos. That was because they became increasingly aware that compared to the heavenly Daos, a person's strength could only be described as a speck of dust. Within the cultivation world, there was no one alive who dared be so disrespectful to the heavens. That was because those people had already long since been buried in the ground. But Long Chen was still alive. That was practically a miracle. 
Long Chen's reply made it so Zi Yan was unable to say anything. If others had said such a thing, Zi Yan would have only laughed it off, thinking it was just disrespectful bragging. But now that such words came from Long Chen, their flavor was different. Long Chen was full of confidence, making it so no one would question his resolve. After replying to Zi Yan, Long Chen turned to the gloomy Yin Wusheng. Now it's time to settle our debts. Didn't you want a battle to the death with me? Fine, I'll help you out. 